Chinasa, a woman's unmarried condition is becoming a problem in this family. Brother, I still do not know when it becomes a prerogative. I mean, the duty of a girl child to find a husband for herself. The right husband will come at the right time. Yes, stop disturbing her about this, please. Do you know that, Miss Yoma, my younger cousin has a suitor, but she, can, but she cannot marry because her elder cousin must marry before her. Do you know that? That same outdated tradition has kept this family in the situation that, that, that they're in now. You've forgotten. The situation we find ourselves now is that same tradition that kept us in this. Wash your tongue. That tradition you are talking about has been guarding this family even before you got married. Is that same tradition not supposed to have been changed by now? Since everything about life has changed. Yes. The reason is to make sure that the order of seniority handed by our forefathers must be guarded and cannot be tampered with. Talk to your sister. I've said my own, just allow nature to play itself. Talk to her. This road by this time of the day. Hi! Presents who are nice at it again. Come over you. Why did you all of a sudden stop coming to me whenever I sent for you? Do you realize I'm married to Prince Ono Solenze? And the real family members are now worried about the news of our relationship. Oh, spare me all that. What we share is much better than the entire real family put together. Surena is at it again with her promiscuity. It is regrettable that she has forgotten that Uku Naga Wam Wam is always monitored by Anya Naga Vyam Vyam. Hey! Could you know see now? Which road did she follow now?
I've missed you so much. And I miss you too. I want you to quench my sexual desire here and now. Now? Yes. Is there any problem with that? We are off the limit of people's eyes. Nobody can see us. Come on. Oh my lady. Oh my lady, welcome. <laughs> oh, greetings, my princess. Wife to Prince Onosoleze, who is my boss and my friend. Please, may I ask you, what are you doing here? And what are you doing here, you? I am Osita Demma, the son of Mbadoga. Everybody knows that I am a good friend to the prince. Prince Onoso Leze. I am the personal assistant to the prince. As a matter of fact, I am his advisor on security matters. So I am here monitoring what is happening all around the kingdom, including checking on people who are meandering. My princess, huh? beautiful princess, I want you to know that it will be an error, a very big error, for Diochi to say everything that he sees at the top of the palm tree. Omarize, Anogangam. do anything. If he dares open his mouth, I bet you his ancestors will, will receive a new soul today. How am I sure he won't tell the prince? Yeah? You know this guy talks too much. What is he doing there? <laughs>
It's been a while my son visited the palace, and I wonder to what do I owe this visit? Father, I do not like what is happening in my marriage. Or is it again, sir? Urena has proven unrepentant to the manner that she keep defiling our matrimonial bed with Omar Linze. And I keep wondering why you don't want to punish him. Oh, sir, I don't want us to go through the case of Omar Linze again. What is important is your wife. What do you intend to do with her? She should be more of your concern than uh, Omar Linze. Father, divorcing Urena will be a debasement to my integrity. I want to take a second wife, at least to justify my heart. Yes, and to bring peace to my home. Son, I am a custodian of tradition. So are you. Our custom forbids polygamy. Our custom does not forbid polygamy completely. There are some precautions one should take before going into another marriage. Well, well I may have to consult the uh, Council of Elders to seek the opinion in this. you are good for. It's not eating and sleep. Eh? Oh, well, just see. Have you seen them? A marriage that is senior, that we are older than, just got married. And these are the items I got from her. It will be good, right? Oh, well, when are you going to get married? When I go to bring a man into this family, eh? even if he's deaf and dumb, bring, let me bless you and the person. Eh? Let me tell you, your mates are doing the same. Do what your mates are doing. Eh? Oh, I'm talking and you're still eating my food. Give me this food before I pour it on your body. This is not all the food in the house. Nonsense. Eh? What is it? Eh? 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 Look at Amara T. Just got married. Nai, what is it? Eh? Why did you take her food away from her? I don't like the way you treat her well as if she's not your daughter. Eh? What did she do that made you to hate her so much? What, Nai? I don't hate her. Ah. Yes. Okay. At my age, I'm supposed to be welcoming my grandchildren ah. during holiday period. But your daughter, Ewele, has made that dream not to come pass because of her inability to get married. Eh? Nay. Nay. I don't like what you are doing at all. I don't like it. Eh? Oh, since you claim you know a lot of people, why not introduce your daughter? Introduce her to them. At least one of the men may like to marry her. Then you have a granddaughter. Not to treat her as if you hate her. Should be taking it that you hate her. That's exactly what it seems like. Yes. Huh? Nonsense. Please, my daughter. 
don't mind your father. I don't know how he developed this sheer aggression. But all he's doing is for your own good. Yes. A good father wants to see his daughter get married. Because every parent wants to enjoy the dividend of parenthood when their children are adults. So when your father said that you always stay at home, I don't blame him. Please, my daughter, I want you to go out there. Make friends. Maybe from there, favor will locate you. Yes, you get married easily. Beacon or Adesem. Make friends. Learn how to go out. At least people will see you. You see people, you make friends, you, you enjoy life. Your father does not hate you. Why would he? Beacon them. Oh, Adam, please stop crying. My darling, please. Adugum, you need to be seen and to be shown favor. Hmm? Please, it is okay, my dear. You know I love you and can do anything to make you happy. Why not divorce your husband and marry me? <laughs> My love, don't say that. Marriage is the pride of every woman and deserves to be respected. What's the more reason you have to leave your husband and marry me? I am a prince in my own world. There's nothing I do for my husband that I don't do for you. But you've not made me a husband. That is one very important thing you've not done for me. <laughs> Omali, don't forget your position and your promise. You and I know the only reason I accepted this relationship is because you promised to give me a son to keep my marriage alive. But I'll be doing my best and you know it. Your best can only be enough when you give me a son to save my marriage. Reina, I love you so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to have you all to myself. Why not come into me? And make me feel like a It baffles me how Malinze keeps following Orena around, even when she's married. And not even the king or the prince is doing anything to punish him. Hey! My dear, what do you want the king to do? Has anyone tried to punish him over all the atrocities that he has been committing in this our community? So, why now? Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Did he force himself on her? Asa. For me, I feel the relationship between Urena and Omalize is a mutual agreement. And Omalize, Bo Odari, Wu Ejenga. You all know that. I don't understand. Are you two trying to justify their relationship? Because I don't understand. Eh? Not even 
impotency of a husband will justify a wife having an affair with another man when her husband is still alive. Now you understand what I mean when I say the royal home is not doing enough to cope her promiscuous excesses. You understand, right? Girls, let me bust your bubbles. Do you not know that Omar Lindsay is the son of Ajofia? He has nailed himself untouchable due to the warrior's charms that are in his custody. Can you imagine? Hey! Okwa, hey back. Hey back, My dear. My Honestly, Edoga, you are coming with time. What troubles you, Your Highness? Anyone who has a relation does not need to jump up to collect something at a high point. I commend your native intelligence, and that's why I summon you to provide a solution in a situation as precarious as my son. Obviously, this situation is getting out of hand, and I do not know what to do. Your Highness, uh, you have been my friend for a very long time, even before you ascended the throne of the King of Ititinaza. <laughs> Tell me, you have been a Milobak or Bane Melinobi. What is the problem? My son, Anusalize, wants to get another wife. To Fiapa! That is against our tradition. And our custom forbids polygamy. In way, and you know it now. Huh? Not in a situation like this, Edoga. Not when there is a case of infidelity from his wife. A wife who is supposed to be dedicated housewife to her husband. Not when my posterity is at jeopardy as a result of no heir. And this is a woman who is supposed to give me uh, a descendants. Lack of an heir can be an act of the gods, our ancestors. Urena has consistently been sleeping with Amalese, therefore denying my son his matrimonial rights over time. In that case, we'll have to remand her to our customary jury so that she'll be disciplined as the custom demands. The issues bordering on Urena's infidelity is coming from Omanese, the foster son of Adjofia. I don't know why I've been clueless on how to handle the case against Omanese. In that case, we'll have to invite Abalike, the mouthpiece of our gods, so that we can look into the situation because it's something that we have to treat with precaution, especially when it concerns Omalinze, the son of the gods, Adrofia. He invited me to the royal home in such a manner. I knew there was a problem. My in law. Please. You can't just wake up and make such a decision. I understand how you feel. Please take it easy. Let's follow due process. Be good. Are you trying to tell me that you've not heard about Urena's weird sexual behavior? I've been waiting over three years now for your daughter to change. She keeps getting worse day by day. This is indeed an insult to my family. And I can't bread. Please, what do you intend doing? I want to take a second wife. Even the king will not support you because he is the custodian of tradition. Even our land forbids 
polygamy. No woman will want to accept you as a second wife. I am a prince. Every woman wants to marry royalty. Not even a virgin will want to accept the position of a second wife. Except you want to marry a fair one, the divorcee. I will do it my own way. I just called you here to give you every notice. You don't drink any gun. You're not there, so I dropped a message to your daughter. I told her to tell you to come and see me whenever you're back. That's what you sent for me. Hope all is well because it's been a long time. You're so honest. Yes, all is well and all is not well. I need a little favor from you. Wow, so. Igwe. The situation is complicated. And it's not a decision I have to make in a hurry. Igwe. What are you saying? You're not just the prince's father. You are the king. And you know our tradition for be polygamy. And your daughter's alleged promiscuity is against the moral rectitude which this royal home was built upon. Infidelity is against the tradition of this bright land. It is Nasa. Um, um, what do you mean, Mrs? What I mean, in essence, is that your daughter should be called to order. She must not bring shame into this royal home. She's a princess. And she must behave like one. Go home. <laughs> Now, um, Kemdilin, please, you, you see, you, you're my wife's best friend. You introduced her to me before I got married to her, okay? I need you to tell me some things about their family. Does Apunapuna Apuna run in their lineage? Ha! <laughs> my prince, you did it just a proper in your marriage, and you got all the information needed that confirmed that Urena is your wife. Why all these questions? See, yes, fine, good and fine. Una, Una gave me two beautiful daughters. But there are some things I need to know about their family. Is there something I need to know? My prince. Obia Somba, your in-law, is a righteous man who would not kill a fly that perched on their food. Their family are natural givers who will surrender their last and borrow extra pad to add comfort and hospitality when strangers knock on their door. They raise their children within the range of humility and rehearse services to any acquaintance. My prince, Urena, your wife, inherited the virtues of her mother. She is kind-hearted that only a prince could provoke her to anger. That is whom your wife is, my prince. Why, why, why do you keep telling me good things about them and no bad things at all? Why? <sighs> is there no bad something out about them? My prince, I hope you're not having problems with your lovely wife lately. Edora, I do not know what is holding the priestess.
Abaleke, the mouthpiece of Amadeke. I welcome you to my humble abode. Omalinze is the offspring of Ajofia, the evil deity of a Titinansa that protects the rights of every offscoring indigene of a Titinansa. He is a child of the gods. Abaleke, a child who just barely begin to live is the one causing these several pandemonians in our kingdom. Allow him to contend with his chi. Omalinze is an instrument of war. The gods have kept him for a sole reason to be used when the external enemies want to invade our community. A Titanansa has used him to win many battles in the past. Why do you now want to fight and ditch him for your personal reasons? Do you not know that when you kill a fighter in a vendetta, you will need him when war arises? You should be more concerned about Urena and not Amalinze. My wife, she spitted on my face through her attitude and her character. She shed out my primordial pride in Canada. What do you want to do? I want to get if we knew any clue, we wouldn't have someone to here. I know your fears. Divorce the woman, and you will put her in an abominable situation of life. Keep her, and her immoral actions will bring you sudden death. Marry another wife, and you will be going against the customs laid down by our ancestors on the same throne which your father the king sits on. Ah, well, okay. you know this too well. Huh? And I wonder, what do we do in a situation like this? <laughs> the ancestors have set a panel of jury and they have not found you guilty. Whatever decision you take, the gods will accept it. Aya! <laughs> No, wait, 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 my friends. Um, what are you going to do now that um, Abaleke has spoken in your favor? What else will I do? If not to go ahead and marry a woman who will take care of me and bring back respect to the kingdom. No, 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 don't be in a hurry. I am not only your kinsman. I'm also here to let you know that marrying another woman will not only be a bad idea than a solution. The absence of an heir in my household is making my family suffer drastic setback. What setback are you talking about? I am a prince, but I am suffering scorn in my kingdom. People now make jest of me. They snub my company publicly, especially 
in a big occasion where I'm being called as, as a special guest of honor. I understand how you feel. No, you do not understand. Men are now probing the laps of Urena, promising her to begat me a baby boy. The crack are now showing. Yes, because she's already given a listening ear to Omalese and lots more. She now honors appointment indiscriminately in total content of me, her husband. My family is now torn apart just because my, my, my wife is now a bedmate to every man. All in the name to save the family. Has it gotten to that point? Oh, come on. Stop that. What are you talking about? Don't pretend as if you don't know. Her, 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 her name is all over the town. Her topic is stock of the town. Her infidelity just degenerates into an incest of getting me an heir. I'm lost of words. I, 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 am, I am not lost of words. I am not. Because I know what to do. Yes, I know what to do. I want? am going to marry another wife. Don't fear her. No. You cannot do that. I will. I've advised you over and over again. No, you can't. You have to think about this again, my son. There is no need for that. I will marry another wife. No, you can't. I will get myself another wife. No, but it's my duty to advise you on the best decision to make. My prince! My prince. Oh, my son. I'm not happy with the way you're looking. You keep machating everything as a result of continued thinking. Mother, what do you expect? When my family has been torn apart, and none of my family relatives is doing anything about it, nobody is doing anything to help the situation, to save me from the problems of Urena. But you had a meeting recently with your father and Ichie Edoga. And I know that Abaleke was also at the meeting. What was the outcome? More than all, we're standing with what Abaleke said. Father and Ichie sounded very confused on how to handle the situation. What? There's nothing to be confused about it. Look, just go to the neighboring kingdom and get a wife for yourself. Mother, you know the consequences. Damn the consequences. Look, you need a new home for yourself. You need to be happy again. Yes. You need to secure your dying respect in this kingdom. You can't continue to be sharing your wife with Omalinze. That stupid and useless unrepentant hoodlum. You can't. Mom, are you saying I should go back to the basis and start building another home? Exactly. That is the solution. Look, until you are optimistic, then you can solve your problem once and for all. You need to make a vociferous opposition against some of these stupid traditions that affect you negatively. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to solve some of these problems permanently. Mom is not as easy as you say. You know what? Come with me. Come, my son. You see, marrying another woman is not the problem. The problem is Urena. She's wicked and heartless. She can gang up and poison the young girl even before the marriage rite. I mean, that would be a multiple trauma for me. I understand your situation. For my grace. 
you see, I have this uh, friend of mine from the Permit me to refer to him as my friend. The age difference notwithstanding, because he is apparently old enough to be my father. He has a daughter, Jawale. Very beautiful daughter. I know if you talk to him, he will be willing to give you his daughter's hand in marriage. That should not be your problem. That won't be possible. I mean, going to seek for a woman's hand in marriage without some proper involvement with a kinsman from both families. Now you pointed what you may refer to as a problem. But permit me to say that a problem cannot arise without taking permission from the solution. What are you trying to say? There is always a way around the problem. There is always a solution to any existing problem. So it is not left for you to make the decision. Decide. Then we will eventually get to the one, convince him, and trust me when I say that if you are ready, the man will get convinced. And marrying the daughter is not going to be a problem at all. Father, you need to support me. Abaleke said that the gods approved of any decision I want to take. Sir, I am your father. At least the gods that you are seeing today. I cannot support you to marry another woman. Our custom forbids it. It will not happen in my own way. Father, you don't understand. Who will not say fidelity is getting on my nerves? <clears throat> Our custom for this polygamy. The idea is to ensure that the limited number of women in our kingdom would go around the population of men available. That can be tampered with when you've got into your elastic limits of enduring marriage crisis. An incessant infidelity. There is hardly any excuses that justify this divorce. Not even the hackneyed, chronic, overstressed, flimsy excuses of barriers. Not even the issue of male, child, or an heir is enough to be able to appease the gods of this land to approve divorce. Is that serious? I want to marry from our neighboring kingdom. So, there is only a quarrelsome person who is reason the way and manner you are reasoning. You cannot abandon the funeral at home and go straight across the fence to attend the funeral there. Leaving the pride land, the titans are to marry an outsider with label you a man who is a confessed rogue. A marriageable uh, 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 idiot with an incurable bad attitude. I cannot allow this in my kingdom, not let alone my family. <laughs> My husband, please, you need to calm down. Whatever that gave Anusolese the effort to flaunt my orders will show him that I am still his father. Our son is going through hell in his marriage. And if taking a second wife is what will help him solve his problem, then 
all we need to do is to support him. Not at the expense of going against the law of the kingdom that he would rule after me. Would you rather he dies due to the pressure he's getting from his wife, Urena? Remember, a dead man can no rule a kingdom. He deliberately disobeyed my orders by going to Amatete in search of another wife. I will never support him. <laughs> My husband is taking another wife. And she will be coming with him to the palace to perform the customary Malube rite. So what do you want me to do? Suspend whatever you are doing. I need you to come to the house and want me to tell my husband to stay away from you. That will result to a fight between you and I. Renna. What do you intend to achieve? We need to provoke a siege of embarrassment and blackmail upon him the moment he gets home. I want him to appear irresponsible so the marriage will not work. Hmm. Are you sure this will work? I'm very sure about this. Trust me on this. I better take my leave now. Like a mad dog. Move and I walk and get out. Move! Talk to your husband! I said talk to him! He has been going around deceiving my husband! But he went from one woman to another! The woman was sleeping with any woman that comes their way! Tell him to stay away from my husband! The most part is that my husband has witness eating my food! If I see your husband, go close to my husband ever again! You regret what I will do to you! Tell your husband to stay away from my husband! Um, see, you need to calm down. Let's discuss this later. You can see I have guests. I don't care! I don't want to see your husband in my room again! He wants to break my home! What a useless man you have to do! But she would have been told that we did not go to family city on paper. They are no idea. You know that's the word. Keep your attention on the rest. Oh, 
Onusoleze may have made his decision, but I will never support him. Never! Your Majesty, you have always admonished that no one can fight whoever the gods support. The gods did not even find him guilty with the decisions he made. So, it will do you no good creating enmity between you and your own son. I am not a man. My boy simply took your stubbornness. And he also took your wisdom in his decision making. Oh, do you, don't you notice the, the inherent wisdom in his actions? As I stood out there, the children have gathered here today to say thank you for your love, for your protection, and for your guidance. Whoever has things dead for us, that message shall die. Mm -hmm. Because of Allah shall continue to guide and protect us. Mm -hmm. The only way to win a case against the gods is to provide all the basic demands for appeasement so that all the blame will be for them when they fail to meet their promises. You all know my predicaments and it's not transferable, which must be borne by me and God. I wish to find another partner who will help me to solve the problem. You're welcome to our family, to my family. A wife is a bait for the gods and a greater tomorrow. Because if the king had queried Omalinzi and punished him accordingly, eh, the, the prince would have gone ahead to marry against our custom. You talk as if you do not know that Omalinzi is untouchable. Omalinzi is an outcast, an offspring of Ajofia, the god of war. So there is nothing they can do to him. Are you not saying that we should all live in daily fields? Simply because there's nobody that can do anything to him. <laughs> My dear, we can only depend on his chi to deal with him. If not, he will continue being a terror in this kingdom. Fighting him is equivalent to fighting the gods. <laughs> oh, wonder in shall never end. You know how dangerous Omaliza has been in this kingdom. Well, oh, dear. Our plans did not work. They are still in this house. Listen, we have to make this house unbearable for them. You cannot fold your hands and watch the prince bring another woman into your own home. Listen, if you ever do that, then you have lost your grip in the royal household. I think we have to plan, we have to strategize and make sure that marriage does not work. Right. Wait, wait a minute. I think I have an idea. I have a better plan. <laughs> I will relate it to you later. Oh, please. Your Majesty, I am not happy at all. This is an embarrassment to my person and to my family as well. Worst of all, he brought a teenager for the Malubarite. I am surprised as well. 
I do not know what to say. You see, any accustomed traditionalist knows his only wisdom that could nominate such a contrasting two song to fulfill the right. My lord, this kind of arrangement is a total coverage for an interior motive. But I am sure in you that in time I will interpret this cultural interplay as it unfolds. Sure thing. You see, I concluded aside that the chaperon is likely to be the new wife. But with the introduction by the prince, I was proven wrong and uncertain. Greetings, my husband. Greetings, your enemy. Calm down, my lord. Anusoleze is our son. Why have you chosen to insult this royal family? Why? Is this how you are going to rule the people of the Titanansa with this fickle mindedness? How dare you bring such an infant into marriage? I've made my choice. What stupid choice? I'm asking you, at your age, graciously, father, already, you want to stretch your, your, your patience to wait for a little girl to be able to get to a marriageable age. A little girl, your daughter, marriage is twice her age. What a shame! I could imagine how he brainwashed her mother to accompany her to this Manlube traditional visit. Father, when I came to you yearning for help, what did you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You told me that Omalenza is the son of the evil deity and untouchable. So I had to leave. No, no, no. I, I had to leave with all my mind to paint all my life. Finally, I was able to hazard a solution. So, Father, you have to come down and watch everything unfold. Oh, so lazy. I want that woman and her daughter out of this kingdom before sunset. The decision I took is a personal decision and not a family policy. Father, you are the king of this kingdom and not the king of my family. A grand eloquent audacity. Huh? Look, don't mind whatever the king is saying. He's only being apprehensive of the decision you've made. You are my son, and I am solidly behind whatever decision you take. Mother, well, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. What are you still doing here? You should be in your abode making arrangements on how that woman and her daughter should live, live this kingdom. You lie, Igwe Anibese. You lie! My son is the heir apparent to this throne. And he has taken away. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Nobody! Flunks my orders. When a deity exercises too much authority, it is only normal to remind it of the wood it was carved from. This is a family matter, Iwe and Iweze, and must be separated from the affairs of the throne. Meet me 
in private. aid when I need you the most. But if it's a day to have sex with me, you will not hesitate to make yourself available before time. Oh, what matters is that I'm here now. Tell me what you want me to do for you. I need you to organize your boys to go and wait for those criminals before they take my husband away from me. Let them beat them mercilessly. Wait for them where? I heard they'll be going around the village to see the kind of resource we have in our kingdom. Let them wait for them on the path that leads to Chuba. That plan will not work. Yes, it won't work. Firstly, they are not going to do the work in alone. Secondly, if they are battered, that will not give the kind of impression you want to create in your mind. <laughs> okay, so. What do you suggest? <laughs> I want you to call your husband Kingsman. Tell them that your husband is dodging away from his responsibilities. That he's not friendly for you and your children. And he rejects your food even when you bring it with your heart and toy. Malinze is right. <laughs> At least that way in call to the visitors that your husband cannot take care of his family. And when the meeting wants to hold, request that that meeting holds in this house. Yes. Well, so that the visitors in the hearing, we know that your husband is a lousy man. My lady, I love you too. <laughs> Come here. <clears throat> Couldn't you be more diplomatic in your utterances? Mm. Hey, get out. Okay, Your Majesty. Let me put you through Iwe and Ibueze. I allowed you to liberate me because of the love I have for your late brother. I was already pregnant with Onosoleze before you knew the woman in me. The throne rightfully belongs to my son, Onosoleze, not you. Why are all this coming from? Why do we have to visit a history in a time like this? Be careful the way you treat my son's issue. Be careful! He is my only child and the only obvious result of my marriage with your late brother. Don't 
push me into revealing the obvious. Don't bother my son again concerning the decision he took about taking a second wife. The throne rightfully belongs to him, not you. Be careful, Igwe and Ibuese, son of Mwakese. Be careful. My wife, I still can't explain why our in-law choose Nkiru instead of a well lady that, he, that he's supposed to get married to. <laughs> My husband, do you worry yourself too much? Eh? Hmm. Stop worrying yourself. My wife, I'm supposed to be worried. Okay. I'm supposed to be worried. I hope these people have not deceived us. Eh? They should know our tradition, that the young maiden cannot marry before the elder sister. Hmm. My husband, you know that uh, Odnosoreze is a custodian of traditions and cannot bring down his reputation by making such unacceptable move. Yes. Hmm. My wife, I don't know why everything that has to do with your daughter has come huh? I don't know why no stop that stop that why are you saying it like that eh? the prince paid our lady's bride's price and after the malube proper he's coming to take his wife home eh? so I am sure of that no two ways about it I hope eh? so how about yours I go on mine now eh? Wana watch also. Oh, we go mine. So can you name Nanya? I hope so. Um, Urenda, go ahead and tell us why you call this here. The king is waiting because I have to think back what said. My elders like you too. I called him for him because the way my husband had been treating me has become unbearable for me. I thought he would change, but he's getting worse by the day. What excitement has your husband done? What kindness? He has left his responsibilities as a husband. But rather focus his eyes on being an outside, both married and unmarried. He even stopped eating my food, no matter how delicious it is. I'm not so lazy. You've heard your wife. What do you have to say? My other side gives you all. Thank you. As you all may know, I am not poor, and I will never ever be poor. But in my store, I have enough food stores there. And she has the access to go in there and get any kind of food store that I can food for my daughter to eat. That's a lie. Will my children continue to eat white yam every day? I have vegetables and every kind of condiment that can cook any kind of food. She's my wife. In my kitchen there, I have enough food stores in there. And I've never deprived her of going in there to get whatever she wants because she has access to everything she wants there. I've never deprived her. And I ask her, I pay her feeding allowance every month. Because I don't like Anyway, uh, my prince, we are not here to question names. Anyway, all we are asking is take back your responsibilities at the 
of our lives. So try and see how you can refocus your love on your wife alone and then show her. And if we ever notice any atom of subordinate love to a distance made, don't you from this village and from our kinsmen who the Lord is. Pay attention to your wife, my son. Everything will be fine. Where is my wife? She's still my wife. And I always play my role as a good husband to her. Yes. You see, I can't really explain the entire lack of. I need the greater list of this one since we came up. It is possible that the family is not in peace. From one meeting to another, I fear for my sister, I will be considering her condition and the kind of person she is. Hmm. On the second thought, she just wants to create a bad impression about the place, so we can hope we can never come back. Can't you see that she's a medicine woman? I think you're right because the prince appears very calm and not wanting any problems at all. Well, I rather suggest we sit quiet and watch the complex interview. Okay. it is very obvious that father doesn't like me and I don't know why. If I don't tell you this, you might hear it from another source. What is it? Tell me. Iwe and Ibuese is not your biological father. What? I was pregnant with you before my husband, Iwe Omekanaya, died. Because of the love I had for this family, I didn't want to go back to my parents. I allowed Anibwezi to leverage me. After I gave birth to you, I couldn't have another child. And Anibwezi, on the other hand, couldn't marry a second wife because at the time, our custom was seriously against polygamy. The king does not hate you. He is your foster father. And it is his sacrosanct to protect you as well as the throne. If he doesn't, then how do you explain the way he treats me? To leverage me in marriage is what gave him access to the throne. He is scared of abdicating the throne for you to rightfully take over from your father. Though this is our little secret. Since he could not take a second wife to hand over this throne to his descendant, he is scared that you might have an heir, a foundational root to take over from him. This is sheer jealousy and envy, born out of insecurity. Every man has that fear. This is, I mean, this whole thing is relatively confusing to me. I 
want you to keep this as a secret. Let's watch things unfold that it will make more sense to you. My son, I just want you to understand that the throne that Anipreza is sitting on is overdue for you. Onosoles, the son of Igwe Omekanaya. But I want you to concentrate more on securing a peaceful home. Because he who cannot rule his home cannot rule the kingdom. Don't forget to keep this revelation secret for now. In the kitchen answer, was. Well, you remember me. My name is Inkiru. I'm just a little girl. Actually, I'm not the prince's wife. I went to Etiti Nansa to perform the Malube rite tradition on behalf of my sister, Awili. She is the one getting married to the prince and not me. Now I'm back to share my observation to my family. Just between you and me, the prince is a good man for my sister. They have a very beautiful house. The people of Utsinans are welcomed as well. And Papa, do you know that Aweli is going there as a second wife? We saw the first wife. Her name is Urena. Hmm. Let me help her. The first wife is quarrelsome, which is why the prince wants to marry so much to comfort him. Many tricks was played for us to see the prince as a bad man, where he's a good man. Okay. I just hope she's not the kind of a woman that will kill her daughter for us. The first day we went there, there was this skirmish of conspiracy against the prince. Which is aimed to discredit the prince for us not to accept him. But the conclusion is there are gossips and innuendos against the prince. But like I said, he is a good man. I think we have to call an extended meeting of the Dana family for us to decide. If we are going to give our will to the prince or not. Come to think of it properly. Time is not in our favor. We just have to listen up. What is your view about this? Things are just over. My brother, mm. I suggest we hold this meeting by tomorrow. And by then, other uh, elders will be available. Eh? Okay. I agree, I agree. Uh, my daughter, you both have done well. Hmm? You cannot go inside. We have another issue to discuss. Eh? What sort of embarrassment is this on Soleze? So after how many years of blissful marriage you decided to humiliate me this way? You see, in this life, every human is entitled to his own opinion. Yes. I have never meddled in your lifestyle in this house. So I will advise you Never to meddle with mine. It would have been better you marry one of the maidens in the palace and go out of this kingdom to bring one dumb girl as my co-wife. Hmm. Oh no, say you have insulted me and this is the height of it. 
Ijawele. Beautiful Ijawele. You see, I love her. And I've chosen to marry her as my wife. And there is nothing, I mean, there's nothing anyone can do about it. I have married her. And she has the full and equal rights in this house, just as she do. Okay? And meanwhile, I have a meeting with the king. It's not in my manner to keep the king waiting. Especially when the meeting is very urgent. Excuse me. Jawelling, I want to go and see my father, okay? My father, okay? Okay. Yes. I'll be back soon. I'll see you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> could see and get married to is this destitute. I can't understand how Onosoleze got himself involved in this madness. How could he do this to me? How? My friend, the truth is that his so-called in-laws must have used a powerful charm to enlist his commitment to this useless dom. My husband, charms do not work on royal blood. So what happened? <laughs> she must have been rejected by so many sisters in her kingdom. Hmm? And your husband became a victim of circumstance. <laughs> My friend, I pity you. <laughs> Do you know the kind of sufferings the gods has packaged for you by sending this, this parasite as a co-wife? Do you know? You don't. No, 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 no. I have to do something. No. I have to do something. I have to complain to Omalize to rescue me out of this mess. I need to do something. No. I will just die. I will just die. I have to do something. I will never forgive my husband. See, she is such a cost dumb. A cost dumb. That's who she is. Don't worry yourself. We will handle her. This 
is not a bed of roses. Oh, this world is not a bed of roses. Keep on going, you man go so. This is the height of embarrassment to the skin. How can you get a different number from marriage to this family? Why have you chosen to bring shame to the royal family? Why? Your Majesty, I married a loquacious woman who almost broke my home. Now, I am better with a woman who is deaf and dumb. At least no one will be attracted to her. So I can save my mind to bed from being desecrated again. You are talking bad, this. I do not want to see that woman in this kingdom again. Do not provoke me further. Enough! I will make life miserable! Enough of this torment! Your Majesty! You cried the person! Enough! I'm so lazy. Just because I allowed you, you think I'm a fool? I am not a fool! I just allowed you to sit on the throne of a Titanansa. Just because of the respect and the love I have for you. Vis a vis your granddaughter in this position of your royal responsibility. Any day, I am tired of your excesses. I will have the queen to testify against you. And you will have been the gate, the throne, so I can take what rightfully belongs to me. For your information, I have taken a pride. That is final. Who could have revealed my secret with the queen to him? No, I cannot allow him to take over the throne from me. I need to act fast. Prince, I'm not so lazy. I've been waiting for you. What is wrong with you? Why have you chosen to punish my daughter, Urena? And I'm to them. Such a harmless woman that has been living with you for a greater part of her life. Why have you chosen to pay her with such a dumb coin? Not just a dumb coin, even a deaf one as well. Ethiopia Sumba. Yes. When I was lamenting about your daughter's attitude and infidelity, what did you do as a father? Did you do anything to caution her? Don't tell me that, Prince. How can an acclaimed pastor like you do such a customarily despicable thing? Bringing shame onto the palace. And not to my own very family as well. Would be a somber. And it showed a difference. Such a harmless woman that has been living with you for the greater part of her life. Have you forgotten the lines from which you have come from? It's you. Prince. A chair, the prince. I've made my choice. 
and that is final. Urena is now free to flex around the village with the acclaimed indestructible Omalinze. The prince. Even if it means getting another wife. Not a destitute. A deaf and dumb Why? Life is a choice. It's you. But no man would want to be along this situation. The way you detest her is the way another man detests her. And her body will be for me. And for me alone. And praise. I am getting disappointed. So I am disappointed. I'm disappointed. I must tell you that truth. Royal embarrassment! What an insolence! Royal embarrassment! Oh, please, they also have wouldn't have insulted me the manner he did if not because you smoothened his feather and therefore giving him a tip for insulting me. What tips are you talking about, Your Majesty? What tips? The man I fell in love with and got married to is supposed to be a strong man and not a fearful one. What exactly has Onosoleze said that has made you fear this much? Onosoleze threatened that he must make me abdicate the throne if I try to stand on his way by going against his decision by marrying that destitute. A lion's cub is not expected to have herbivorous characteristics. Besides, the throne belongs to him. However, I'll advise you rather not stand on the prince's way. Let his decision stand. Onusoleze has been intending to make me less the king. And you have been supporting that. Am I seeing a reification of royal insurgency? Oh, is your plan to connive with your son to send me on an exile? Oh, far from it, my loving husband. Far from it. I just want you to draw the lines between your wing and that of your authority. Onusoleze is no longer the little boy you used to know. He is now a full grown man. Therefore, I will advise you allow him to take decisions for himself, at least for the first time in his life. Let him take decisions. Remember, Uchakrokaro Omiambembe. <laughs> Started to lord it over me. Forget that I'm a man old enough to, 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 to make my choice. It's okay, but whatever it is, whatever it is, it should need to be the of your anger. Please. What is my house? I'm old enough to make my own choice in my own house. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll tell you. It's not happening again. Excellent. I'll give you a smile. I'm not so lazy. You know, you know, I'm not so lazy. The son of Obi You are you are just like your father. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell me, my friends, how have you been coping with your new status of uh, polygamous family? Then I'm gonna 
Mm-hmm. You know, at least I have peace in my heart since I married the jewel. I mean, my jewel of inestimable value. <laughs> Indeed, you are playing your polygamous husband role well. Okay, more. <laughs> when he says, you know, no. <laughs> so, how about your co polyandry husband, Double Easy? I'm sorry, my prince. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You don't joke with a thing like that. Don't strike next time. Please. I am so sorry. Like I said, it will not happen again. It's okay. I'm sorry, my prince. It's okay. But has Uren has taught her Mahana Malays a destiny into the illicit love affair? She's getting worse by day. She now feels at ease to disclose her motives in her house because she feels I cannot find out. But not from the dumpsters. Oh, I understand. It is regrettable how she feels that you cannot find out, at least not from your wife who is a dumb woman. But don't worry, don't worry. Nemesis will catch up with them one day. Just one day. How do I cope with this act of disgrace? Calculated slap on my face. Ripping embarrassment to me and my family. This disconcerting show of effrontery will be retaliated. I must ensure that Onu Soleze reaps a whirlwind for his actions. Onu Soleze. How can someone who eats from a royal plate revert to picking crumbs from the compendium of this commoner? I cannot share my husband with a dumb wife. My ancestors had better take my life than allow me to suffer this humiliation. You're not looking bad. Thank you. How are you? Hi there. I'm fine though. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm fine. <gasps> your liberal says he will be cutting to cultivate in your garden tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to prepare breakfast for him. Oh, come on. You don't need to use encoded words before this dumb girl. She can neither speak nor hear. So tell me. What? Did you see him in person or he sent someone across to you? <laughs> he gave me a message in person. Hmm. <laughs> On my way in the morning. So, really? <laughs> and told me to contact you against tomorrow. Such a good coincidence. The prince will be going out tomorrow. Are you serious? Good timing. Good timing. Good timing. Good timing. Oh my goodness. Good timing. Hey. Oh dear. <laughs> you know what? I have... uh, why are you in a hurry? I have to start going. Mm. I don't want my husband to get home before me. <laughs> I guess. Take good care of yourself. And you too. Take care Anything. Of yourself. Just give me a call. I will. Make sure you give me a call. Bye. Take care. <laughs> No. 
Wow. <laughs> I am going to eliminate you very soon. <laughs> very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Evil witch. <laughs> And if I had met her before your husband, I would have gone ahead and bought her court myself. She's so, she's so disarming and pretty. Don't honor them. Men are unpredictable. It's true. The dog made him as beautiful, even when she cannot take your compliments. I feel you have a material body, which is why you are attracted to her. But you know what? You have lost. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is that she's a complete angel and opposite of all you told me about her. I can't sit here and watch you insult me in my husband's house. You better. I don't know why such a handsome, promising young man like Omalenze will decide to ruin his own life with bad and indecent behavior all over it is in answer and beyond. Don't say that I told you. History has it that his mother was raped at Omudeleke and her parents threw her out. She now went to Ajofia to give birth to him and Ajofia promised to save and keep him alive. He took after his rapist father, whom is believed to be a criminal. But nobody can destroy the sword of the gods, except the gods who judge him by themselves. He is an outcast, yes, but an offspring of the gods. My dear, I also heard the reason for his unrepentant crimes is because he reportedly dragged an indigent old man from the bed and took his wife home stage. That young Just man has imagine. a lot of evil stories surrounding mm -hmm. him. Hey, the more reason he excommunicates himself from people all the time. Yet the prince's wife, Urena, still gives him access to her body, knowing that he is evil. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? Birds of a feather. Flows together. Hey! Yeah. I pity him more, seriously. Is There's no time I see him in this community that I don't get to. Pity is an understatement. Mm -hmm. 
pretty damn self. Fine, come on. My beautiful Uri, the epitome of ancient beauty. You know what? I'm still wondering how your husband was brainwashed to marry this ugly, dumb head of a woman. Even if he's free for keep. <laughs> Now you are talking like the man I fell in love with. <laughs> I knew this worthless dumb girl would not impress you for long. <laughs> when you were busy praising her the other day, I knew it was my flattery just to pull my legs. <laughs> <laughs> but now the gods have vindicated me. <laughs> you know, if this village was created by women, Men would be bereaved of sweet tongues. You can say that again. <laughs> now tell me, how has your husband been treating you? is getting worse. He doesn't answer my greetings nowadays. And it's so painful. I am so pained considering the fact that the reason he's doing all this is as a result of marrying this worthless dog girl. But I would teach her that if a young colleague lifts up a senior colleague in a scuffle, a load of utensils will crash upon her. I... I understand your anger. But you have to calm down, my lady. You have to. He who walks with caution does not hurt his toes on his thumb. You have to take things easy so that we do not make mistakes. Yes. And remember, beware of the dumb. For the God speaks for them and protect them. going to do my princess? I don't know. I can't believe my own Omalize is so reluctant in doing something about this. What about the royal family? How do they take the news? I don't even care how they take the news. I am more concerned about the damage it will cause in my marriage. See, we need to find a way out so you won't endanger the life of your children if the prince sends you out of the palace. See? Because that is another possible thing the prince is capable of doing. Okay. Uh, in that case, I need you to organize a meeting with Omalidi as soon as possible. Please, my sister, if possible, let him come to the palace. Please. Because I need solution. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I have to go. I will see you, okay? Just take this, please, okay? Your Majesty, you sent for me. You look very pensive. Is everything okay? There is thunder in the sky, Edoga. I think Prince Onusoleze has something he knows. How do you mean? 
I think he has found out that I am not his real father. He threatened to make me abdicate this throne and take over the throne which rightfully belongs to him. This is very serious. But who must have told him about With who else if not the queen? Or did you? Oh, you know I can't do a thing like that. Knowing the dangers that surround, no, I didn't, and I wouldn't. I have tried everything possible to make sure that Onu Soleze does not have an heir. Now, Abaleke has given him the right that he now have a second wife. I heard that his wife is pregnant. I was thinking that my relationship with that mistress from Abagana would be fruitful. I was thinking that she will give me an heir. Now she is not where to be found. Not even in the deep blue sky. I don't know what is happening to this dream. You are still the king. Yes, you are. We will either find a way to persuade him to leave the throne, or better still, find a way to deny him the throne. And not even the queen can stop us from that. I've always trusted you, my friend. Do something. I will. It's a promise that has to be kept. I will. Urena, what is wrong with you? Don't you think about my future in terms of ambition? Don't you know at my age, I should have my own family no matter how tender? This is an opportunity for us to get married. And here you are asking me to get you pregnant with a son for that prince. I cannot marry you, Malinze. The worst husband is better than thousands of good men friends out there. You keep on complaining about your husband's wickedness towards you. But here I am with full vigor. Offering myself to you on the platter. So we can start afresh. Oh, Malinze, I cannot marry you. All I want is for you to eliminate this good for nothing girl. Help me to regain my control in my husband's house. That's all I want from you. I cannot do that. I cannot kill that man. You must do this work, Omalinze. Remember, I have records of your undetected atrocities in this community. Remember the young woman you tied in that evil native doctor's shrine. The children you kidnapped. The things you've stolen in this village. I can easily give you out for execution. And you and I know. The gods will find you guilty. Hey, Ure. There is no need for this argument. The only problem that defies solution is death. We have to find a way to get rid of your co-wife. But we have to be careful. My wife is greeting you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know. I've seen her. Yes. Thank you. How come this your unexpected visit? It is very unexpected because the palm tree is growing the fruit at this point. Yes. And it is the duty of we, the elderly, to admonish the young ones about certain issues that concerns our historical sequence. 
Iche, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is simple. But if you feel that my visit to your place is not accepted, then by the fire in your kitchen, cast it away. But I advise you to return me. But if you find it useful, cultivate it and reserve it for posterity. Iche, my ears are aching to hear you out. Or do you want to eat before we start discussing? No. No. Huh? No. The only appetite I have now is the appetite of admonishing our young ones. Telling them to understand the ills that is happening in our community. When the blind man dips his food on the floor instead of the plate on the table, the brothers around <laughs> begin to scratch their brows in shame. Yes, my prince. You must understand what I'm talking about. Ichie Doga, permit me to say that your way of talking is a great advantage which the gods have used to bless you in a way. And it has spiced the advantage and the respect which you've wedded within and outside Etitinansa. Now tell me, what are you talking about? Your mates have excommunicated you. Yes. And most of them have even withdrawn their support towards you. Even the women folks have formed a gossip league against you. How do you want to solve this problem? I've not noticed what you've just said. Why would someone want to excommunicate me? Because you married that dumb wife of a woman that an outcast is better than. Yes. Now look at the embarrassment. When are you going to be tired of this your sign language? If you are not ashamed, our kinsmen are. What is wrong with you? Iche Doga, your observations are right. But before we proceed, Let us break the call or not. Um, okay. He who brings color brings life. Is again what I'm talking about. Look at this embarrassment. That she could just break into a discussion without the courtesy of an apology. Are you not tired of this? Richard dog, may we proceed, please? Let me tell you. If you don't know what to do, I'll tell you. Go and marry another wife and chase this woman away. I've told you this is very important, more than this. Chase this woman away. Chase your wife away first. How? My wife is not dumb. She is sane too, and she will not behave. I am done! Why are you stand there looking at me as if I'm a global master? You're for pretending you don't know what I'm talking about. I asked. Who told Prince Onu Solese that I am not his real father? I did. You did? He needed to know the truth. So I had to tell him the truth. Why are you scared about the same truth that will certainly be opened someday?
Why have you decided to be rebels towards the throne of the pride land, the Titanasa? Rebellious, you said? Igwe and Igweze. Do you think I am daft? Look, all I've been trying to do is to protect my son's interest. I know you orchestrated a plan to deprive him of the throne. He's bet right. Do not forget that most destinies are primarily determined by mothers before the gods approve of it. Oh, what are you talking about, woman? Urena's marriage with my son was supported by you. You supported it because you knew she was a woman of easy virtue. Oh, you thought she could cheat on my son and my son would die. But my son did not die. And you refused to support him again to remarry. Because you thought that the new wife would give him an heir. Why are you so full of evil thoughts? We had an agreement before the leveret concerning the throne. Igwe and Ibeze, my son Onosoleze is indestructible and he must take over the throne from you. We had an initial agreement and we must stick to it. You want to ignite an inferno that will make me go up in flame. Why do you want to ruin me? Because you ruined me first. By having a common knowledge of your mate, Iruka from Abagana. Oh, you think I don't know? I was the one who sent her out of the palace. Yes, and let me shock you again. I made sure I flushed her womb before she left. You promised you and I forever. I married you because I want to secure the throne for my late husband, your brother. But your evil thoughts have made you an enemy to all that agreement. He who breaks the edges, the serpent will bite. Have you not noticed this changes? She's pregnant. That means your suggestion that wait until the gods determine her position on the earth. I doubt it will not be too late. And I know that her parents will not want to take her back because there will be no suitor to come for her again. Honest Elizabeth, go and break the custom in your own interest. Her presence here is odoriferous. And as long as she stays around here, that order will remain and repel people away from you. Benya. You too. I don't care. I do not care at all. Everyone has his or her own life to live. What would it profit you to die for one woman and have 20 of them? Come for your burial. Huh? Almost what I said. Think about this. I can even volunteer to look for a beautiful woman for you. What? Arrange it. Like, arrange it. You understand? Arrange the woman for you. What? Teacher, let us enjoy this matter. A vulture does not finish palm nuts in one day. I will talk to another person for deliberation and assistance. One needs companion to undertake a risky job. Did you just mention another person for assistance? Yes, because you're the one who suggested I chase her way and take another wife. Mm. I think I need another advice on this. Yes, that is true, but you have to take it easy. Yeah? It is too early to bring another person's advice into this. <gasps> they might think I influenced you to do so. Do you understand me, William? I hope. Take it easy, my son. Don't be too in a hurry. 
I don't know why Ombalise is dragging his feet in doing this for me. That girl needs to be eliminated before she gives birth to whatsoever she's carrying in her, in that stomach of hers. I am surprised myself. It's supposed to be at the pivotal point to make sure your pride and happiness is returned to the palace. I want Awili dead. Her presence challenges my confidence in the palace. Don't worry. That woman must have given the prince a portion from her witchcraft. She's not ready to leave that dumb woman. Even if she remains barren. We must use all cajoling means, except violence, else it will boomerang on us and we will eventually lose the throne. No, no, that's out of it. You can't lose the throne. No. How did you come about that? No. You must try everything possible to make sure that Awele does not have her feet in this kingdom. And you are sure of a plot of land in this kingdom, a full barn of yams, ten baskets of turmeric. I don't mind if you go fetish. Oh, dear, dear, my, dear Majesty, I will anchor this matter with possibilities of subsequent trial. I will go right now. Onye Jogubo, Angoludo, Ndine Koroni Si, Mekubi Obuloku, Ye Kwenuku, Mababi Obulegu. Sawaleke, the mouthpiece of the gods of Etitinansa. Stay away from the priest and his new wife, else you'll incur the wrath of the gods upon yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Leave that, leave that part, leave that part. Marrying a girl from another village is against our tradition. That cannot happen, especially not when I'm alive. It's an erroneous act which you stand to protect. Huh? No, I will not live to see that happen. If you do not redirect your steps, where you are going to in life will be closer than you expect. Do you wish me dead? Leave the priest and his family alone. The gods have not found him guilty yet. As long as I live, that marriage will not work. No way! No way! As long as I live! No! That marriage will not work. No! No, Ivano. Uh-uh. Amen, man. Amen, man. 
Mm-mm. No! Mm-mm. Oh, man, man. That marriage will not work. Huh? You are threatening me. All right, man, the boss will never forsake you. You asked her to give it to me, right? Did she give you? Where is it? She couldn't even give you something to pick your feet. Well, as a kind and gentle woman that I am, dare you to speak. To destroy that man is a problem. Listen, fret not about that woman. Is she not the same person that gave me water the other day? She also served me juice while I was waiting for you. Defend her. I am happy she snubbed you. Yes! I am happy that she snubbed you. At least you've seen the kind of evil woman that she is. Wow. The fly that catches on our food must be pouched. Else, we swallow it with the food. Yes. But Esther Ken must be taken to avoid spilling the food because of the fly. When you raise the idea of eliminating her, I remember requesting the provide ground for this execution. How far have you come? You are an expert, so you need this solution. For me to attain a successful operation, your maximum assistance is needed. So you need the way. Oh, 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 oh. So now it has to do with Urena. I should be the way. Oh, man, is it, have I been the one giving you ideas and all you do best friends to be committed in this kingdom? Hey, have I? Hey! Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. You can listen to your voice. So now it has to do with me. I should be the way. I know your plan. I know your plan is to sleep with that woman. But over my dead body, you do that. I will never allow you to go close to her. Stupid he goes. Stupid he goes. Nonsense. Is, is there one in this house? Just tell him my friend. I have to start going now. I just have to go. Yeah. You don't spend time these days in my house. You're always in the home. Much more. This is Adema. You know, my wife's Tommy is put to them every day. Yes. And no one is by her side to run an errand for her. Hey, I understand what you're saying. I understand. That is exactly the reason I've always suggested that you should at least hire one of the maids in the royal home to do the errands for her. You see, I don't want all those distractions in the palace. That's why I left the palace in the first place, to live separately. My prince, do you not know that at a time like this, your wife Ijawole needs a maid? A maid who will be running small, small errands for her? Yes! Whatever a maid can do, I, Prince Omosaleze, can do it better. Oh, there you are with oh. your private life again. What can be able to I've always known you to be a very private person. You live a private life. Fuck! Fuck you, Ken! Listen, I'm not afraid of carrying out murder assignment, but it is paramount I get first hand information on some certain basic habits at night in your compound. That will help me with a successful operation. What information do you need? When does the household go to sleep? Where and in what position? You see, this information needs to be properly harnessed in this planning stage. Well, we sleep early enough. Our husband patrols the compound before going to sleep, and he never wakes up till morning before going to work. Wait, do you all sleep in the same room? No, I don't share the same room with them. For three seasons, my husband has never invited me to come sleep with him. 
this will pose a very big problem. How do we gain entry into this house? We need to get some specifics for us to twist and fix. Actually, I'm at a loggerhead with my husband. But I will discuss with him and get back to you. We need to sort everything out and eliminate Awili in less than one week. Another thing. You need to consult the gods. Because I have a very strong feeling that the gods will not allow you harm her. Unless you make a passionate case of justified aggression against her. Probably you appease the oracle for them to silence her spirit. Then we can strike. And you think the gods will allow me to kill anyone, no matter how cogent my reasons are? Urena, you know what? That aside, I think what I need right now is to satisfy my burning fire. <laughs> I need to drunk it so me now and not me, come on, baby. <laughs> Mama Linza is still sleeping with my wife, Irena. They are still making their evil plans against our way. My friends, I wonder why you are yet to take reactions that will put an end to all these nonsense. I can only react when there is something to react on. That has always been your. What? So tell me, what are the new strategies? Rena will undertake to come to me. The agreement that she will start sleeping with me again. Why would she do that? Who told her that hustling for sleeping over with you is going to make her get a male child for you? Listen to me, my brother. Everybody needs to understand that having a child is the prerogative of the gods. I mean, this same Urena has been the one who has been desecrating your matrimonial bed with that unrepentant role, Gomalese. It cannot validate pregnancy. Getting pregnant is the prerogative of the gods. I uh, well, I don't know. It's an avenue to compile vital information to enhance Plot. That is nonsensical. It is obvious that what Urena thinks at a time like this is that she can comfortably eliminate Ijawale. My question is who told her that Ijawale is just any kind of girl that she would eliminate just like that? Well, I don't know. Oh, oh, the beautiful ladies of Etetenasa. Greetings, Iche. Greetings, Iche. How are you? I'm sure you're about to go and fetch water from the stream. Yes, Iche. Oh, oh mama, you look beautiful. Ah. Well, you know, can I have a word with you? Very important one at that. How may I help you? Oh, you can't help me. No, no. I'm in a better position to help you. I mean, liberate your family. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that um, Iwe Anibese, the revered king of Etitinanza, is interested in you. 
and wants to make you his wife. And then you will become the queen of Etetinasa. Sounds beautiful, eh? Iche Doga, are you sure you understand what you're talking yes, about? Yes, absolutely. Yes! You know, the king is a man with very, very few words. So all you need to do, tell me when and where it is convenient for you. In private and he will be there. Yes. To see. I can't imagine what you're saying is the truth. Oh, you better start imagining how beautiful you will look on those your queen attires. How you will walk alacandastically, majestically around the village of Etetinansa. And of course, people will start to envy you. <laughs> yes! Hmm? And even a dog at one point will say to you, Greetings, the queen of Etitanasa. It will be such a good feeling. Hmm? Mama. <laughs> and don't forget that this is a secret between me and you until you meet the king. Okay? Hmm. Secret. Hmm? Don't forget the word secret, huh? Okay. Um, okay, um, let's go. What did he call you to tell you? Oh, <laughs> he said, um, he, he wants me to teach his daughter how to dance. Yes. How to dance? Mm -hmm. Are you now the great dancer that he sought for your tutelage in terms of dancing steps? What happened to Cheta, our renowned dancer, who is also the head of Mokokiti, a titinanza? Tell me already what you know. What did he tell you? Why? Why are you sounding like a, you, you suspect I'm lying? No, no. Uh, he's he waiting over you. What's the meaning of that? He said I should teach his daughter how to dance. What's bad if he chooses me? This is eh? not a laughing matter. What do you know? Be? You know you are lying. You know you, are, you know it. You are you're lying. You're not serious. Let's go, Joe. Please, let's go. Are you serious now? It's not a laughing matter. I'm very serious. Here. Uh -uh. Hey, sweetheart. My sweet husband. The man of my youth. I actually brought this for you. <sighs> my husband, I have a pressing matter I want to discuss with you. A plea for a little favor. This one, you brought food for me to eat today. I thought you discharged your obligation towards me. I thought you've left me with impunity to becoming everybody's woman. I'm sorry, my husband. I only reacted out of jealousy and aggression. Those who taught you how to apologize should also teach you the customary prerequisite to such absolution. Pardon my inadequacy, my husband. A food made by a child, test childishly. Please allow me to make my request. No. If you are here to initiate a reconciliation, then do it in the way of custom. I'll go back to whoever that taught you or sent you 
and learn how to prepare the proper ritual. My husband, the issue I want to discuss with you is an urgent one. Please accept this fruit and allow me to tender my request. Read my lips. I am not going to eat your fruit until you test it. What? Yes. Are you trying to say I poisoned this fruit? Oh, no, Solis, are you trying to say I poisoned the fruit? Are you trying to say I poisoned it? No, tell me you're going hey, to kill hey, me today. Hey, 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 stop. Are you trying to say I poisoned it? Stop this. No! Let the people hear me! Stop. Are you trying to say I poisoned the fruit? No, no, no. This is not right. This is not right at all. How do you expect me to remain silent and not act in a situation like this? Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down? Someone insulted my husband and engaged him in a fight. And you tell me to calm down. I understand your grief. Okay? It's very clear to me. But you have to calm down so we can reap the benefit to revenge. Okay? You're not going to talk now. I will tell you when to talk. I can defend myself. Okay, please. I just, I just don't want to disobey you. But this is not right. Are you okay? Hmm. This is a serious case of acquisition. I mean, how could Urema go to that extent by trying to kill her own husband in a way of poisoning his own food? How on earth will she do that? Your Majesty, this is an embarrassing situation. So what, what do we do now? Um, I think it's um, important for us to invite Abaleke, the mouthpiece of Etitinaza, to handle the situation since it involves the royal home. We must make sure we have an unbiased judgment in a situation like this. Yes. If that is the case, both families involved will produce those that had the quarrel to broker settlement before the king and the mouthpiece of Amadieke. I do not know my daughter Urena to be a killer. Well, we all know the procedures involved in handling situations like this, uh -huh. isn't it? Igwe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please, I want you to procure the food for surveillance and safety until the appointed date. Sure thing. Um, the food will be well uh, procured until that day. God? Your Majesty. Please inform the food and beverage department that the elders are here. Okay, Your Majesty. Let's be calm, brothers. Let's be calm. The elders will sit in jury tomorrow to advance justice in this matter. Your mother and I will be a somber that only each year with a difference in this community cannot afford to be disgraced in public. Tell us, my daughter. Father, Anusolese has punished me a lot under his roof since I got married to him. And you people have piously intervened in our differences. And I took it in good faith. Considering how he... Um, um, please forget all these things you're saying. Huh? 
Your father and I do not have all the time to listen to all these details. Well, go straight to the point. Eh? Be brief. Be go, oh boy. No. Just like that. Father, my husband has cast me away even before he got married to his new wife. He abandoned me with my children to die of hunger just because they are not male. His new wife is expecting. Yes, he still doesn't want me. The other day, I went to meet him to request he readmit me into his bed for me to enable me beg the gods for another child. And so let's accused me of poisoning his food. He embarrassed me in front of his new wife. Um, uh, okay. Did you say he embarrassed you before his new wife? How did he do that? He asked me to leave with the food and leave it for another day. Can you taste the food before everyone? Yes, father. If you're asked to taste it, can you? Yes, father. Why would I poison my husband? Why would I poison his food? Um, okay, mommy. Adam, mommy, please, we are your family. Eh? Tell us the truth. Are you sure? You, none of you could even confront her to come away wordless. What did you people do when Omale and Z, the bandit virtually was living in my son's house and spending all afternoon in the Renas room? What did you people do? Not even the king could challenge his actions. Oh. If a dump woman could serve me better, then I'd rather marry ten dump wives. That's right. Calm down, my prince. Ah, so that we can avoid the dangers of cross fire. Who we'll kill ourselves and leave the enemies? I never asked any of you to help me in the issue concerning my marriage. Or am I crying out to you now? Enough! Enough of that! Honestly, I say. Anyway, I am hopeful that tomorrow's visit will be on your favor. My son, I am solidly behind you. Look, we are all in this together. So let us not only enjoy the dance, but also take advantage of the chance. You have every reason to follow your heart, as much as it does not lead you to a destructive regret. I am making this decision in regards to the perpetual prejudice that has enveloped me in my household and the time immemorial, my royal status notwithstanding. I understand you, my son. Please be careful.
Gods of it is an answer. Gods of our ancestors. We invite your presence in this hour. The widow does not go to market, so she depends on hearsays in regards to marketing events. If you know well or do do, she and actually Gigi. So gracious gods. Who see all things, including tomorrow? We ask that you come to our aid and resolve the matter between our children. The chest cannot be at loggerheads with the breast. Salt and red oil do not fight each other. Stretch forth your hands. Stretch forth your hands. And separate these two in one person in such an amicable manner that the lead will once again match the container. Urenna, why did you attack your husband, knowing that the gods of it is an answer forbids you? Noble elders of the jury, my parents and the good people of Etitinansa. It is never in my character to stand in fury against my husband. But my husband has denied me my regulations as his wife. The other day, I went to beg him to resume inviting me to sleep with him because he has not touched me for over three years now. I got him some food to smoothen the ground to enable me make my request. But my husband turned me down and asked me to take the food back. And when I raised an alarm of lamentation, he attacked me. Who witnessed the episode? His dumb wife was there. She could not hold him. That time, but did not the What was your relationship? With the dumb wife since her arrival. She has been a good woman to me. She always run errands for me. She smiles with me. She has been a good woman. Are you sure you're telling us the truth? Yes. You can confirm from her. But she is dumb. Then you should depend on my word. What if your words are undependable? Then let the girl strike me dead. Honestly, will you tell this jury why you decided to batter your wife, knowing that the gods forbid a dog from eating the bone hung around its neck? My elders, I respect your wisdom. You all know that I'm a lion's come, and a snake does not be got a shut thing. Neither do a lion eat grass. You have not answered a question. Urena declined sleeping with me. And I was forced to marry a woman who is pregnant for me now. She brought some fruit and requested to resume sleeping on my bed again, which I told her to go and do the requirements based on her custom. She screamed and abandoned the fruit for me. Are you still going to take her back as your wife? Urena is my wife. She's still my wife and will always be my wife. Urenna, 
Are you still interested in this marriage? Yes, provided he accepts my daughters as his legitimate children, as if they were sons. Not even ten daughters. They would not. Members of the jury, this is the unseen cross of the quarrel. She demanded I take them as my daughter, do as my sons. Before he married a second wife, did you, Urena, stop sleeping with him? Or did you go and he did not let you in? He never refused to allow me in. Neither did he invite me. And there's no way I can force myself on him. Onosulueze, did you invite her and she refused? Or did you just get fed up because of the two daughters and stopped inviting her? She never asked to come and I said no. Though she did not ask and I refused. Who will attest to your honesty that you have told us nothing but the whole truth? If I had lied to you, let the gods strike me dead. We thank both of you. Now we will need to gather facts in preparation for judgment. I ask that you all disembark for recess and we will reassemble you when we are through. I answered your mind, Mama. I know nothing will make you severe in lordship with the royal family. If I had demanded for separation, would you have accepted Colonel from another man on my behalf? If divorced. You have a point, too. You have a point. Hey, but why did you refer to that uh, 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 dumb girl? That she's a good wife. Eh? Considering from everything, she seems to be a good woman. How do you read her mind to know whether she's good or bad? <coughs> Since she cannot talk, her composure and countenance speaks for her. Oh, if you say so. My daughter, Papa. remain of good cheers. You will come out victorious. You are my daughter. Thank you, Father. I'm always your friend. We thank you all for your patience. Throughout the time we were deliberating on the matter to administer a just judgment. The evidence before us shows that the pot on fire is full with water at the boiling point, trying to blow off the lead. Since Prince Onusuleze and Urenna agreed to continue their marriage, the rest is a matter of mutual movement. Urenna's actions are motivated by the desire to return to her man. I commend her courage. Urenna, taste the fruits that you served your husband that day. This will prove that it was not poison. My ancestors, this is the time I need you the most. Please come to my aid. 
If I ever poison this food before serving it to my husband, let me die. If not, reward me with the gift of a son and long life. I salute your wisdom. No man caught in a similar threat of extrication will not take a new wife. But take back your wife, Urena, after she survives the period of oath. Reinstall her rights to sleep over with you whenever appropriate. And what of the marital rights that comes with such a reunion? Have you overruled them? If she survives the oath, she will bring a white cock, choice dish, and palm wine to wash the face of her husband. For some weeks now, no one has set eyes on Omar Lindsay. What do you expect? He knows that Urena and her husband have not settled their scores. So, his absence has sent abysmal ripples of panic in the community. <sighs> My dear, whenever he goes missing with those his cohorts, hyper alertness and security consciousness will be the thing in the minds of every indigenous in this community. <sighs> Men, men and their heartlessness. But it is very, very unfair for him to leave her now. It's unfair now. What side are you? Eh? Wait, oh. When did his relationship become a good topic of discussion? Don't even say that. Because Look, let me tell you. His presence in this community only adds salt to injury in the royal household. So, ha, please, oh. But. Whatever happens, we just need to pray that um, all Malaysia, which is outlandish miscreants, do not invade the community with massacre. That should be our prayer. My dear, I pray so. I pray so. Because that royal household has become a war zone. A place that the whole community is supposed to be emulating from. Look at what it has become now. I just pray so. He should not even come back again. Ah, eh? Edoga, your majesty. I thought you said you have everything planned. What is keeping? Oh yes, I'm. I'm surprised, your majesty, because she told me she will walk through this path to meet you. Uh, I don't know. Surprised she's not here yet. But to have a girl of her class. To make the king wedding is disrespectful to it the is, royal. It is disrespectful, Your Majesty. But maybe we just try to have a little patience. She promised that um, she was going to walk through this path to meet you. And I don't know. Oh, there she comes. <laughs> I told you. Greetings, <laughs> Your Majesty. Greetings, Naya Doga. Oh, it's good to meet you. I am sorry I kept you waiting. 
I wanted to make sure I'm not being followed. <laughs> That's a good idea. I would think it's very important, Your Majesty. I think I need to give you a little time so that um, you guys will have a private time together. Hey, dog. I'm Obi. I'm Obi. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, you called me. Yes, sir. We are supposed to be the guard on duty today with the primary assignment of following the king. You are right, Your Majesty. So, why is the king? Because he's not in the throne room and he's neither in his room. Your Majesty, I don't know where the king went. He left with Ichie Edoga and ordered me not to follow him. Really? Yes, Your Majesty. Something is behind us. Well, you can go back to your duty post. Okay, Your Majesty. Ibrani Bweze. You are always starting something. But Lolo Ikodia is always a step ahead of you. Always a step ahead of you. How far have you gone with the arrangement? We need to be fast. I'm ready now. We have to wait till the end of the restrictions imposed by the oath. Actually, the food was not poisoned. So I am sure to survive it. After which I'll be readmitted into my position, legally with my husband. So what are we going to do now? We have to wait for some weeks. If not, this mission shouldn't have been delayed at all. Okay, I, I'll be leaving now. I'll see you. Okay. All I am asking is for you to give me a male child. Not only will I make you the queen, I will make the child an heir to my throne. Your Majesty, what happens to Prince Onosaleze? There is in the capacity of the king to decide who reign after him. I promise you, I will make you the queen, and the son which you will bear for me will be my successor. Your Majesty, I am afraid. I am afraid of the queen. If she finds out I'm having an affair with the king, she'll kill me. Oh. Why didn't be? You do not need to worry about all that. I will take care of them. Okay? Come. Come to my arms. I will take care of everything. I will protect you. Hmm? Oh. My prince. Oh, sit down, man. I am now a father. Yes. I now have a son. My chief. Has consolidated my royalty. Hey! What are 
Christ, our will has given birth to a son. That is who you are eventually going to be the inquiry of a disaster and your son, the great and the crown prince of our kingdom. Prince Onusulese has been vindicated. You can say that again. I have been vindicated. So, each hour has eventually given birth to a son. A son. Honestly, you came with a good news. I thank the gods for making my daughter stay in your house stronger. That's by the way, how is the case between you and Urena? I'm like I said, I should read me time to my bed. Huh? After the expiration of the oath. Uh -uh. Has she fulfilled the rights for such readmission? No, she has not. When I asked her about it, she pretended not to know anything about it. And I asked her to let her parents to confirm and compile the requirements. He's hmm. a lie. She must provide them. She must provide them. And after that, eh, you will give her condition on how to carry on her duties in that house. And you know what? She must no longer give in into infidelity as long as she remains under your roof with you. You're right, my in-law. You're very right. You must draw line between the two wives so that each of them will know their right and limit in that house. My in-law, if my husband can manage me and the co-wives, uh-uh. You can do the same. You may worry now. You can call her. No problem, my in law. But your guidance and closeness will make me cultivate the tick beat of being the head of polygamy. Okay, for instance, you will approve the days of her cooking in that house. So that whatsoever she serves you, she must test it. Do you understand? This time around, you will no longer leave them. They kill you and give your carcass to my vultures at the abattoir at the market. They chose. Now get out of my company. I said, get out of my company. Please, love me, my love. Please. I, I am sorry. I'm sorry, please don't leave me. I've surrendered my body to you to share with my husband in defiance of the wrath of the gods. Please don't leave me. I don't have anyone to go to me. I'm sorry. Don't leave me, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, please, my love, don't leave me. I'm sorry. My love. Now that you're preparing for naming ceremony, what name will you give to your son? What name do you prefer? My in-law, honestly, I do not have any name on my head right now. Hey. Okay. We have to think of a, a name. I don't want that day you appear unprepared. It's okay. I'm ready to... Accept your suggestion. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I have three names. Okay. Three beautiful names. Chin also. Chie Mary and uh, Chukwebuka. How do you see the name? Chi Chi Chi. Okay, that's nice. That's uh, nice. A good suggestion though. Good. But when you were trying to suggest for me, a name just occurred to me. Uh -huh. mm. Oh yeah, share it now. Okay, how do you see this name? Chibogo. 
That means God has settled the quarrel. Chibuogo. Mm -hmm. Hi! Very beautiful. Oh, Makano. Chibuogo. Oh, God has settled the quarrel. Beautiful name. Chibuogo. Yes. Considering what is happening in your family, God has settled the quarrel. Hi! Thank you so much. You were there, yeah? Eh, Ungwan. Oh, Mali, I am sorry. I am sorry. Um, see, I promise never to threaten you with your past secrets. I'm sorry. Rena, you have to sleep over your plot so you know exactly where your vengeance lies. We have to be very careful. So that we don't kill the ram because of the sins of the he goats. Omali, I am getting confused. The reason I wanted to kill Ijawele was for the child not to come forth. But this oath has delayed everything. What do I do? I need you to advise me, Omali. Please. We have to wait until the period of the oath expires. The oath will expire in a few days. So I think this is the right time to strike. Because any mishap that befalls them now will be attributed to the ugly effect of the oath. Which means I am vindicated. We had an earlier agreement. Let us stick to that agreement. We have to wait. We have to wait. I have to go now. Let's go. Please, I want you to drive. You drive. Come here, Oh, my Lindsay. Oh, When are you ever going to leave married women alone in this kingdom? When? You. So you've gotten the nerves to confront me and question my powers in this kingdom? Are you not afraid of me? Oh, my Lindsay, let me tell you something that you don't know. The day... A great man was born in one kingdom. That same day, another great man is born in another kingdom. Really? Yes! Really? Yes! Really? Are you talking to me? Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh, my Lisa, you better take... Change your life! Change your life! Nemesis will catch up with you one day. Okay, follow me. Nemesis will catch up with you. Stop it. Still, let me spill your blood and feed your flesh to those vultures at that abattoir close to the main market. What are you learning for, from you? What are you talking to me? Oh, man, is me. I am not afraid of you, man, is Get away. You're talking to me. 
Oh, sister, you're talking. Come, come. Shameless man. Come. Try this next time. Come on, get out. Challenge me one more time and I'll kill you. Now. Very soon, I will take you to the Queensland. Mm -hmm. And when we get there, we will look for a garden like this quiet corner. Hmm? Where we will always be. And I'll be singing a song. The first song I will sing when we get to the Queensland is um, Onu ne kunu na mada buro chuku Makano onye si na nyabuchi Yameke ni foje bulo chuku Onye si na nyabuchi no Yameke ni foje bulo chuku Makije no wa si na chi adi mao Ije no wa si na chi adi ma Mame, 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 mame Oh my goodness <laughs> You are dancing to the tune already Yes, your majesty <laughs> Take another one, take another one no, you might just I still have some in my mouth. You still have some? Yes. Oh, freedom everywhere. <laughs> so your majesty, you, you have this. You want to give me? Yes, from me to you. Oh my goodness. Oh! oh. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. This is good with kiss. Mm -hmm. Our pet oh. <laughs> The gods of this land will bless our union. Say is say. Is say. Good. And some people will die. In their abode. <laughs> and your majesty, mm -hmm. I can't wait to be your wife. I see. And be the queen of this kingdom. And by the time I get pregnant, oh I'll goodness. give you a very strong song. I see. <laughs> that is why I came in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, I can see you're enjoying yourself with the king. Yes, so <laughs> very soon I'll become the queen of a Titinansa and I'll have numerous maids following me about. <laughs> that is a good dream. <laughs> Don't forget, I choose you for the king. That uh -huh. means you will have to appreciate me. Oh, that. Yes. Say whatever you want and I'll tell my husband, the king, to give it to you. Mm -mm. Say that fast. I don't have time. Unfortunately, the king cannot give me what I want. Only you. Hmm? <laughs> Only you can give me what I want. What do you mean? What is good for the geese is good for the gander. Hmm? I chose you for the king and I can also destroy the relationship. All I need to do is tell the queen that you are seeing the husband. But you cannot do that to me, Chedoga. Yes, I can. Huh? All you need to do is let me huh? test the woman in you and... Uh, of course, I, I will keep my mouth sealed. But if you don't, I'm going to tell the queen. Just once cannot kill you. Huh? Or do you want me to tell the queen? It hasn't gotten to that. <laughs> it has gotten to that. Because if you don't give me the opportunity to do that, I will tell the queen. But if you let me, <laughs> I will make my mouth to come sealed. Eh? So you have an option. Hmm? I'm waiting. Hmm. Just say yes to this and then we can part ways now, okay? Prince, we congratulate you both for surviving the oath. Your seed will blow them onto the third generation. My advice for you. Do not discard an old rapper because of a new one.
go home and perform equal husband role to your two wives. Urena, the gods are merciful with you. They want that you go and ask your husband for forgiveness. You will use a ram, a cock, palm wine, cola nut, and two tubers of yam to cleanse your husband for laying false allegations on him. The gods have found him innocent and you shall arrange a survival ceremony. Onosulueze, take back your wife and re-establish bed fellowship with her according to the customs. By the power vested on me as the spiritual advocate of Amadieke, the gods of Etitinanta, I have spoken. I still do not know why Urema has refused to perform the customary appeasement ritual as was directed by Abalego. What else? What else if not her usual stubbornness and recalcitrance? Because she feels she's always having your backing whenever issues about her is mentioned. Well, you may be right about my soft spot towards her. But this is not a matter of uh, father and the daughter-in-law. It is a matter of the king and his subject. Uh, we must uphold the tradition of the level. Thank the gods that father is able to see when I say that she treats the family matter with levity and reluctance. Well, whoever that has her interest should tell her that I will not hesitate to excommunicate her from this kingdom. If she does not go according to what she was penalized with to market weeks. For the mere fact that she took the family to the jury is a slap on our faces. And I must dish my chastisement on her for such carelessness. She mustn't take our love and care for her for granted. Uh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate this, at least. You were able to speak up to my own favor at a time like this. Thank you so much. You. I was actually going to drink somewhere. Why don't you just follow me there? You're too scared. Ah, come on. Are you not tired? Tired of what? How can I be tired of all the things I'm seeing around your body, yeah? Stop. <laughs> okay, so tell me, how is your friend preparing for the cleansing ceremony? She sends her gratitude for you, but she wants you to help her getting some of the items for the ceremony. The items? Oh, oh that. That is not a problem. Come back tomorrow morning. Okay, you know the ceremony has been delayed. If she had other means, she would have hosted without any further planning. So, she said she will be expecting to hear from you soonest to enhance the ceremony on the next market day. What do I do now? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, you know what? Tell her to answer a call behind her house at dawn to take a delivery of those items from my emissaries. Thank you so much, my Omali, <laughs> the husband to the less privileged. Stop! Have to go. And this thing is killing me. My husband is waiting. He's waiting for you. This thing is killing me. <laughs> Damn. Sounds
I called you to intimate you on a matter that is perturbing my nerves. Joe. And I know my killing and my shame matter. We know now. Correct, correct. Reina, she lost her case against her husband, the prince. What? And custom subject her to a cleansing ceremony. But now the items where they need for the matter, and I ain't matter now for the ground. Now I make a call now. They drop them now. They drop them. They said they need a huge ram and some tubers of yam, cola nuts, and palm wine. Now, why I call now? How are go take support me? <coughs> Senior man, you know, get you. Your face so, your so shine. <laughs> So I know I believe your mother died. See, before they break, I could provide you with you drum with car with your horn twist. <laughs> you know my mother now. As long as you don't concern you, I my head you go day. You know now, man don't talk too much. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> See, Jama, Jama. Na daily thing now. You understand now, you know, not daily thing. You de get me. Not daily thing, now what you de do always. See, you know, say, in my own coordination, failure on a Mr. Far, you de get him now. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. See, <laughs> if na yam, eh? If na yam, you don't get problem because <laughs> the snake. Not the two talk, not the talk, even. But he sees venom. <laughs> you see the yam? The yam matter, eh? Uh -uh, now wow. Forget that one, forget I'm the yam, me good deliver. <laughs> wait for me tonight now, wait for me tonight at the deliver. I believe on Amora. Now why I call you now? This is who now? Be Agua! The snake! I'm Bob Nah, Bob Ah! Bob 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 no props, man, no props. Nah, eh. Remember not to allow anybody to take Chigo away from your house to anywhere. People must always cuddle him in the presence of an adult here. Is that clear? My enemy will not sleep until she extinguishes my son's life. But she will die before she carries out her evil plans. Yes. But don't offer suspicion yet until, until she is clearly out of her cocoon. Then you will have reasons to return it. But be careful the way you eat at the ceremony. Um, we are okay? Yes, sir. Come with the round. <coughs> um. <coughs> um, my friend, do you know it is my big ram that I saw in that occasion? Ah. <laughs> uh, I left it in my friend's farm in Epulovia. <laughs> she must have paid heavily for this. 
I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand, my friends? No, let me make you understand. <laughs> my friend Azodu from Colombia has always taken care of all my livestock. From ram to goat to fowls, name them. And he came to collect it to sell it for me. And I hope that that money will come soon. EJ. <laughs> EJ. 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 Mr. Azudi is waiting for you at home, Papa. Oh, I told you. Azodo is there to bring my money. I'm sure that is why. Nah, come up here. Oh. Pay for it. Mazi, there is a big problem. What some, is the matter? Some criminals are at it again. What happened? They broke into my animal farm last night and made away with that your big ram. Abomination. How can an in-law steal an in-law's property? and present it again as a present to him. Hmm. Mazi, the thing is, it, it was barely midnight when the goat started bleating. And then I heard the increase of noise from the intruder. So I immediately raised an alarm, which awakened people around the neighborhood. In fact, everybody searched to see if they could capture all these thieves. And the thing is that they searched the entire Ecolobia clan, and they couldn't get the ram. They couldn't get my ram. Okay. Let me see the prince. Okay, man. To tell me that thieves broke into my his farm and stole the ram. That's a sacrilege. An in law. Cannot celebrate an in law with a stolen item. <sighs> the custom is against it. How now, so? What do we do now? It is an abomination. Yes. And the punishment, you know, is self exile or complete total banishment. Total banishment from a Titanasa. Can you do me a favor? No, I'm listening. What I'm about to tell you now is a secret. And please, let it be between us. I do not want another person to hear this. Okay. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. If another person hears it, it is going to tarnish the image of the royal hall. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. But where is my ram? As we speak now, the youths have killed the ram. See, I want us to patch up this development. Else, the image of the family will be damaged. I understand, I, I understand, but um, <laughs> no, I sincerely need the money for that round. Yes, I, I need the money for that round. I am going to handle it. How do you want to handle it when they're already cooking my round? When I tell you I will handle it, then I will. I've reserved it for my Each year, I am going to handle it. <sighs> OK. 
Expected it to be the king or his errant boy, Edoga. Greetings, my queen. I know how much you are interested in becoming the next queen of this kingdom. So, out of my bond benevolence, I thought it wise to bring you some of my royal clothes so that you can wear them at home and learn how to look like royalty. Take it. You thought I didn't know you're having an affair with, my, with the king? Oh, you must be underestimating me. Well, I am not here to stop you. There's nothing wrong with um, having a secret lover. At least, you're coming to relieve me of the duties of warming the king's bed. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Having a secret lover is also good. But, if I smell your filthy, disgusting, stinking, God-forsaken body anywhere around the palace, I believe you know what will become of your corpse. Beautiful lady, I can't stop having you. You always make my day. That's all you know. To always have the woman in me. You didn't even ask me how the reunion went. Oh, that? So, how did the reunion go? He called for a reconciliation meeting after the reunion ceremony. I think Prince Ono Solese wants to retain us, his wives, with love and affection. How sincere were his words? Has he shown genuine affection or merely service? My husband loves me and I want to give him back my love with no reservation. What then happens to me? That is why I have come to give you a goodbye souvenir of my body. This relationship is over. Go get a wife. Settle down. Do something meaningful with your life. I am done. I can do this no more. Omalinze, your chance of retaining Urena is fast slipping off. 
I must eliminate her husband quickly to have her to myself. If I had helped her repay the prince her dowry, she would have regained maiden status. Today, I cannot have her back because her husband had taken her back following the cleansing and reconciliation process. I need Urena beside me permanently in order to retrieve my dying status. Prince Onusoleze must give way for me to take Urena back. Do something, Omalinze. Do something. I know what to do. But first, I have to go and see Kendiri. Yes. I don't know why we are holding this meeting. I already told you it's over between us. How can your husband just forget such prolonged abominable adultery you committed? Just because you donated his tolu ram to him for lunch. Listen, he might just be luring you close and deal with you, think. Did I hear you say stolen ram? You shameless thief! So you want me to leave my husband and marry a notorious criminal like you? Never! I will never leave him! I don't want to live in a home surrounded by stolen goats and utensils! Just look at you. I can't imagine how he brainwashed you not to know that he no longer needs you. Listen to me and listen very really good. Prince Onusoleze has gotten an heir to his throne. So don't think you can re-establish wifely posterity in that family. Sooner or later, he will throw you away. Prince Anusolense is way more better than a notorious criminal like you. Murderer! Yes! That is what you are! Nonsense! Yes! That is what you are! Nonsense! Stop! Stop! What is the problem? Do you want to implicate me? What if my husband is coming back and he hears our voices? Can you imagine this promiscuous dog? After I've labored to save her from the wickedness of her husband, she thinks she can jettison me? You! Urenai, Urenai, it's not fair. Eh? How can you uproot, uproot the shop that killed your illness? Don't mind him. He wants me to divorce my husband and pay all allegiance of wifely obligations to him. Now you listen to me and listen really good. Any day I send for you and you refuse to come and satisfy my urge, listen, that day I will kill you. And I mean everyone I'm talking about now. Watch me do it! She had to fight this land. She's a bad woman. You have to fight this land. People on your job. On your door, where was the woman you sleep around like a dog? What a man should be doing, you are the one doing it to you. I'm making a power be if I never, if I never. Offspring of Ajofia, the great deity that wages war against evil forces in our kingdom. Why did you abandon your ancestors for too long? Even if they have guided you through your obnoxious operations as a notorious criminal. You never came to pay homage to them or even make a pledge. Why? Ayosu. 
I used to the hackney eyes of a silent bat. <laughs> that is why I'm here to appease them. Hmm. You don't throw away the child with the dirty water. You beat the child with the right hand, you bend the child back with the left. Speak to me. Speak for your ancestors are here. Tell them what you want. My ancestors, I greet you. I greet you all, my fathers. But I have a question to ask. When did you learn to give a child salt at the market? And turn around to pay the rainmakers to source his route. You may have given me a lot. But you have left me without substantial gift to survive. Wishes, wisdom. Please. I want to settle down as a responsible married man. To build my own posterity. That's all I ask. You have to go now and come back in Nessa for market days. Your ancestors left with angry countenance. You have to come back and appease them. You have to appease them. Great work. I'll be back. This is what the king has been enjoying. <sighs> you are so sweet. Um, Ichedeo girl, what else do you want? <laughs> well, um, this affair will continue. Until you finally marry the king. Only then, <laughs> I will let you go. But that was not the agreement. Oh, yes. <laughs> Plans have changed. Completely. But, eh? Don't let anybody know about this. Pretend like nothing happened. But we will. So that when you finally marry the king, then I, I can give up. Huh? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do about the queen and her threats? What are you going to do about her? No, no. That has been handled, okay? I will make sure that nobody knows anything about this. 
That's why I said you should keep it secret. Okay. Don't worry. Hmm? Woman, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Hmm? Oh. Woman. Me too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, children. I've been craving a goosey soup. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry, okay? Mm. Don't worry. Mama will breastfeed you soon, okay? Don't cry. <laughs> he wants to sleep. Mm. He wants to sleep. <laughs> yes. My fathers, when did the flutist learn to call a great man whose whereabouts in the distant land is well known to all? You claim to have given me substantial gift of survivor, but you deprived me the gift of knowledge and understanding. Now I loaf around like a spoiled miscreant. If you had given me wisdom, I would have known how to pay more than due homage to you. If you had given me wisdom, I would have known that roguery is a fatal abomination and not a way of livelihood. Now lack of wisdom has deprived me decency and made me a hopeless man in exchange. My mates are becoming grandfathers, but I jump from one man's wife to another like a public he -goat distributing our blood lineage with reckless abandon. The guests I fathered. The guests I fathered are now of puberty age. And we'll soon be getting married. Are they going to be the prospective wives I am going to marry? All these mishaps in my life are courtesy of lack of wisdom. Please, my ancestors. Ajofia, my keeper. Remember mercy in your wrath, please. Mouthpiece of Amadeke. I do not understand your position in this situation. Why can't I get a physical verdict? Since I cannot get physical verdict, why then can I not get a spiritual verdict? All my lines habitually desecrate my home. And my father is not saying anything about it. And you too. You're not saying anything about it as well. I understand how you feel. But the gods are silent. The silence of the gods is like a sheer incompetence. It's Omalinze's mother, Nsalaoku, was raped in her clan, Umudioka. Her parents rejected her and she was banished. She traveled down to Etitinansa. But on getting to Ajofia, she was in labor. So she could not continue. She delivered her child there and dedicated him 
to our Jofia, the deity of war in it, it in answer. So you see, nobody can raise any judgment against him, no matter his crime, without the approval of our Jofia, the god of war. Are you saying that we should allow him continue in his evil ways because he has proven indestructible? The gods are in a council of jury over the atrocities that he has committed in this kingdom for years. If he's found guilty, then his own actions will put him into trouble. Hold your peace, my prince, for the gods are with you. I also the dreaded killer of our time. A greeting. I still keep you in high reverence. If I stop coming to your shrine in search of her, in my right hand neither. Your Majesty, what do you want this time? Do you want mystical power or diplomatic power? I use it. But the sound of a drum is suspended on air with high tunes. There is need to ask from which trees the drum was made. So many seasons ago, I was here in search of hell. In turn, you prepared a charm that made me win the heart of the queen. The efficacy of that charm is no longer powerful, or so it seems. Your Majesty, you stop coming to pay homage to the great deity. What do you expect? Apologies. That is why I am here. I want Prince Ondo Solaze dead. Because I am not his real father. If he continue to leave, I will lose the throne. Then who will succeed you when you join your ancestors? Well, I have this young girl, Wadinobi, that I want to marry. And I am hopeful that she will bear me a son who will be my successor eventually. Hmm. I will consult the gods. The majesty is always coming with a difficult task. Majesty, you bring virtual nail and a human head. That is what we use 
to arrive the spirit of thunder that we used to strike him and he will be no more. And after that, you will come back. We will take a decision about the throne of a titi Nansa. And such decision shall stand. Aye. Aye, thank you. Beloved. But I want you to save me the stress of buying the items, the affirmation. Let me quickly pay you so you get them as usual. I will do that for you. I do it for in my lives. It's the best thing that has happened in this family. You'll be able to figure out that a rank of evil is the happiest to ever. Just as the sky is too big for two beds to clash, so is this home too big to contain us all. Don't get to second class. And join us in our drink. What do you think? Your biological father will not be safe. He's selective of persons you share your secret with. Look, not every woman is as mature as you think. Some are mature, good, but on the surface level. They can be trustworthy. On a very good weather. Your choice when it comes to secret share should be with persons very sure that keep to their promises, even in the fiercest circumstances. Mother, what has trust and secrets got to do with this simple English? What do you think about who renders a sudden change? Secrets worth so much about him. That is what makes God who he is. He reveals his secrets only to those that believe, trust, and are close to him. I want you to do likewise, my son. Be careful. Mother, where's God? simply wants to buy your trust again so that you can share your secret with her. It could be dangerous if you do so. Look, nobody changes. We only evolve. Change is about things not human. How 
am I going to get all these items for His Majesty? For just new? You might have it. I need to go in there. The eye of the gods. You go ahead, Kore. That's the only solution. I will tell him then now that the gods needs three virtuous nails to cure her son. Of his madness. Then on my lens there. Most provide human head. To appease his ancestors. That's what the gods have said. I am the only one. That sees the gods. I hear from them. Who is there to question me? Whatever I say, so shall it be. Oh, you know who? I know who. Can I never leave your gunanzo? Will I have found them? Oh, Tom. Surprised and confused at the same time. You don't need to. You don't need to. I suspect evil intentions from her. I mean, come to think of it, she has gotten an heir. I would do anything to make you sunless. It is a witchcraft from birth that made her deaf and dumb. You have a point. Exactly. She is responsible for your womb drainage. Otherwise, why were you 
you're not experiencing this before she came under this same roof with you. Hmm? I can't believe she's this evil. It is her witchcraft that made her to marry your husband. Mm -hmm. So that she can be in control of him. Urena, think. Open your eyes. Your recent relationship with this dumb woman poses threat to your welfare in this family. I can't fold my arms. I can't watch this girl destroy my home. This is the second bloodbath since my readmission to my husband after the cleansing right. What other proof do you need to confirm that Awele is evil? Eh? You gave birth naturally without any problem. Why now? I'm asking you, why now? You read nothing. Think before it's too late. Your ancestors has a harsh message for you. A task that will challenge your courage. Ayosu, what do they want me to do? You must surrender the head of a close confidant. The responsibility of doing that lies on you. But the result is overwhelming. You have two market weeks to do that. Is there no other way or clue to help me? I mean, any other option? I've asked all those questions and they insisted that's the only way. But Ayusu, how can a repentant killer seeking for reformation and forgiveness of a criminal life turn around to kill a close confidant and surrender the head to appease the the same gods who abandoned him because of his evil lifestyle. Two wrongs do not make right. You are marked for death. And you need another person to replace you so that you can live. Delay could be dangerous. And the consequences of non-compliance is death. You must do something fast to melt the anger of your ancestors. The weight of the demand and its consequences lies on me. But I still have to think about it. You have two market weeks. Any time more than that is late. Two market weeks. <laughs> Let me ask you, if a toddler crawled to bite your anus without regard for feces, what will be your reaction? <laughs> if I'm to retaliate, I will bite at his head without regard for his brain. Good. I cannot condole this dumb wife any longer. No wonder the gods seized her tongue. <laughs> Else, she would have been more deadly. Urena, it is only a tree that stands when it is planned to be hacked down. Do not be like a tree. 
You have to do something. I want to see Omani Zeh in your house as soon as his convenience permits. If possible, tomorrow morning. Tell him it's urgent. You must leave fickle mindedness to take absolute decision to effect any plan. Okay? Don't worry. I will see you immediately. Now listen, both of you. It is time for us to tighten our security. Henceforth, do not accept any food from our women. Do not go errand for her outside this compound. Do not babysit Chibuahu, nor release any of our belongings to her. Yes, ma'am. No more familiarity. Did you hear me? I just said no more familiarity. We need to be watchful before someone take my goodness for granted and render me sunless. But mommy, what if the small boy crawls to us as you always do? Then crawl him back to them. Tell them I sent you on an errand. Have I made myself clear? Good. Your house is on fire. You need to be man enough to quench the fire. I will not come again, except you are either defeated or victorious. Mouthpiece of Amadeke. What will I do to avert or contain your men? Just be a man. Amaleke was here. Yes, I saw her on my way coming here. I hope there is no problem. What did she come to, to do? She came to warn me to be a man. She said I should be beloved shut up for her. So I'll be able to quench the oncoming fire in my household. That revelation is not clear, and you will agree with me. I think you have to go to see her in her shrine. Yes. So that she will make proper divinations that will help you get clearer view of what her revelation is all about. Don't you think so?
Mwa Dinobi, you stop coming whenever I ask you to. Are you now avoiding me? Don't tell me that all these little boys, village boys, want to take you away from me. Igwe, I am scared. Scared about what? I think someone has been telling the queen about us. What? She warned me. She warned me to stay away from you. I, I am so scared. The queen said that to you? Yes. How did she know about us? Who must have told her about us? I don't know. She threatened to kill me if, if she ever sees me anywhere around you. And I don't want to die, Great. I am, I am so scared. Oh, come off it. Uh, nothing is going to happen to you. I will give you full protection. Okay? What I am asking for is to give me another chance to experience the woman in you. And I promise you, I am going to make you the queen and chase that old woman away from my kingdom. Whatever the light touches is for you to control. You will be in charge of my kingdom. Smile. Oh, that is it. <laughs> you see, come to my arms. Just a little bit of comfort. Oh, I see. You see why I crave for you? You have an identity. And I love your dimples. <laughs> you see? What is you? You're not. <laughs> so come. Uh, let's go. Just a little time. Uh, you will like it. As you always like it. <laughs> Stand up. Let's go. Oh, Mali. You know there's nothing about me that I've ever hidden from you. Even the gods will not allow me to do so. Please. I need your help. I'm sorry I handled you the other day. Anything you want me to do for you, just ask and I will do it. I know how you fight when you believe in a cause. That's exactly how I want you to fight for me and save me from this mess. Hey, Jenkins, Bunk Bill. Your request is pending. Go straight to the point. I want Awele dead. For two consecutive times since my reunion with my husband, I have suffered womb drainage, and all fingers point at her. Awele wants me dead, but I want to eliminate her before she kills me. Please, my love, I want you to do this for me. Please. Your ancestors have a harsh message for you, a task that will challenge your courage. I also. What do they want me to do? You must surrender the head of a close confidant. The responsibility of doing that lies on you. But the result is overwhelming. You have two market weeks to do that. Is there no other way or clue to help me? I mean, any other option? I've asked all those questions and they insisted that's the only way. But Ayusu, how can a repentant killer seeking for reformation and forgiveness of a criminal life turn around to kill a close confidant and surrender the head to appease the the same gods who abandoned him because of his 
evil lifestyle. Two wrongs do not make right. You are marked for death. And you need another person to replace you so that you can live. Delay could be dangerous. And the consequences of non-compliance is death. You must do something fast to melt the anger of your ancestors. The weight of the demand and its consequences lies on me. But I still have to think about it. You have two market weeks. Any time more than that is late. Two market weeks. My ancestors are caring. They have offered me yet another opportunity to crumb back to substance in a titinansa. Thank the gods for behold is the head of a close confidant on a platter of good. This is where I used to sleep with my husband. But he stopped inviting for a long time now. Before that witch took over. So this is where we strike. Right? Yes. Now that I've seen it, I think I know what to do. So what do you want us to strike? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yes. Mind you, I'm not going to come for this operation. This is best known to me. I send my boys. And I hope you instruct your boys to make no mistakes. Don't worry about that. Right behind you. came to my house this morning. Oh. And what was your discussion? He has started perfecting the plans to discharge the assignment. That's good. You know that man can be so dubious. So you need to put your eyes on him to make sure he keeps to his promises. It is very important. You don't have to worry. Don't worry, okay? Trust me. Listen, I am very sure that after tonight, you will return to the position of the only weapon of those. I just can't I wait. wait. Wait, I'm still talking. Okay. And you will anticipate for a worthy air from the ghost. <laughs> so chill. I got your back. Okay? Mm. Don't worry yourself. Just laugh it out. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Don't mind this. This witch. I just can't wait. At least this witch will have to leave my husband for me. You must not You must not You must not Who got you pregnant? What do you speak to me? Who got you pregnant?
going to tell you. Yes, yes, I'm pregnant then, my daughter. So the person no longer have name. Yes, I'm pregnant, pregnant then, you. I want to know you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell I did not be why. I did not be why. What did I do to you? I did not be what did I do to you? One man got your lock, okay? He's a big girl, my daughter. He's a top of my mind. I will. Jama, I leave this mission for you to execute. I will. You're the most smart and crafty of all reptiles. Go and unleash. Kill every threat of a shadow, even if it's your own mother. But why? I say, but why, Jama? You don't know any problem. You don't know problem, Jama. We could deliver. I'll be so. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Any obstacle for the way we're going to do our waiting or good. Sepo. Chama. Sepo. 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 The cow without tail depends on the gods to swat flies off its back. May whosoever that wants to eliminate any member of your family receive shades under the soil. Your family is guided by the gods. Just do as I said. Thank you, the more peace of Amadike. You may now go, my prince. The gods will reveal to you both your seen and unseen enemies. Ajie! Damanze! Ogene! Adashogwaba! Adashogwaba! Ostadema, I said it went fine. Okay, I'm sorry. But can you just, you know, even if it is headline, I want to know what uh, Waleke said. Tell me, I'm your friend. Coward. Huh? That is what you are. I told you to escort me to Waleke's abode. You said you were scared. That you cannot go there with me. Now you want to know what she told me. Okay, See, uh, it's not like I am... Your children have gathered here today to thank you for your love and your protection. And we ask 
whoever that wants to kill us shall die. Yay. Let's eat. Daddy, mm -hmm. why did stepmother take baby away on an occasion like this? Don't worry yourself, let me come back to you, okay? Mm -hmm. We went to receive some treatments, some conversion treatments from grandmother. We'll be back to her, okay? <coughs> Please, my husband, pour more wine for me. <laughs> You and your sister will go back to your room. Huh? Your mother will sleep in my room today. <sighs> The cloud is dark, smokes everywhere. Something is fishy, things are not going right because of your atrocity. Something bad is going on. How can you say that? Didn't you notice that all Malaysia has been out of sight for some time? 
Eh? Yes, I notice it. So, wait. Are you suggesting it is him? I am not suggesting anything. No, I am not suggesting anything. See, use your brain. Use your brain. You may be right, Doctor. But you know, this is too deadly. He might have killed her because she went back to her husband. Why? I don't know, Sha. I'll think about it. But for now, I'm going to the palace. Sha, you're going to your market. Yes, no, I'm telling you. Yes. That land belongs to me. I share a boundary between Isiocha and Okoye, and there is nothing you can do about it. Yes. No, no, you cannot do anything except. This is Where is that awful? Yes. Where is that old man? Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on. Are you there? Yes. Good. The parcel, the package. What to you? What are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Don't just give me that look. Don't pretend that you don't know why we are here because looking at what Nobi here, you know exactly why I'm here. Yes. Why did you not be my daughter is pregnant for you and you must marry her? How? Okay, now. How pregnant for me? How? You're asking me how? No. Okay, you don't know how. Okay. When you sleep with a woman, she will get pregnant. You sleep the time she's pregnant for you. No, no, absolute lies. <laughs> lies of the greatest orders. No! I mean, I just tested the woman in her twice. Hi. And the way has been so Swimming in and out of her like the old Mambala River. Hey! Yeah. It's not true. Just tell me it's not true. Did you hear him? Did you hear him? Did you hear him? I'm sorry, please. You are sorry? No, you are sorry. So you mean these two fools, Igwe and what, Nobi, has been going in and out? I have to attend to something. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. I said, Come here, come here. Look at this woman. Come here, come here. 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 Come And his wife is dead. Her body is missing. What? The commodity you bargained for has finally arrived. Yes. My daughter here is pregnant with me. What? Well, I will explain. Hey, Doga, why are you not coming? I, I, I told her. I tried to... Oh, will you me. shut up, you shameless man? My prince, I and my friends, we have come to sympathize with you over your late wife, Aweli. Please, accept our condolences. Aweli! Aweli!
people of Etitinansa. <gasps> the same man who accompanied the spirits to kill Urena has accompanied the living to bury her. Omalinze led a gang of killers to assassinate Urena. And now, now he has come to mourn her with us. What am I seeing? The doll speaks, honestly speaking, the ghost of our land has become more predictable. My friends, at one point, one of your wives is missing. Now, our lady Dom has regained her speech. What do we call this? of Etitinanta, for today will mark the end of evil machination in this kingdom. Even Igwe and Ibueze is not innocent. My elders, I greet you. People of Etitinanta, I would like to make a very sensitive revelation. But before then, I would like Inkem Dirim to be brought here. Azuka! Nay! Get the youth and go get Inkem Dirim to this place immediately. Okay, Nay. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Don't do this. I'll confess. I'll confess. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm When I realized that the trust that was coming from Anisoleta was obvious that he would take the throne from me. I was scared. About uh, I was, uh, I said I will confess. Wait, I will confess. I also gave me the charm of I applied and got married to you. Uh -huh. uh, wait, wait, wait. I wanted on the solution. I wanted. Ono Solaire's death by Omus. But he proved indestructible. So I have to devise another means 
That's how I got the tango of the woods. Well, you know, we, we did hope that she would give me a stand. In order to deprive all the soldiers of this from me. Uh, uh, uh. how could you be so cruel and stupid? Have you forgotten you swore an oath to me before Amadieke that you will surrender the throne to, to uh, uh, the Soleza, my son? I just uh, really believe that he will neutralize and nullify the oath. I am sorry. <gasps> I killed my own brother. Because I wanted the throne, by always. I wanted on the solid bed with every means necessary. I am sorry. Sent here by the others in council to bring you along with us immediately. For what? If you get there, you ask them yourself. What did I do? Wait, wait, my husband is not right. Uh, my husband is not right. Let's go. Let's go. you have to say people of hey. it it's all happened Awele, i want to thank you so much i want to thank you immensely for everything okay hmm? i pray that the gods of our land our years will protect and guide you forever it is well with us my husband and our prosperity is guaranteed and also unto our children. Good. See, I want you to do me a favor. A favor? Please tell me anything. I would want you to find as a dumb when you enter my kingdom. A dumb? You mean not being able to talk or, or, or to respond to people when they greet or even insult me. Why? That will help you monitor the idiosyncrasies of my people and also make you the most prosperous woman in a titinanza. I don't understand you. So how are we going to communicate? We always communicate by sign language or you talk slowly into my ears whenever we're on bed or you talk on a low tone when we're always together. Ah. 
this this is too tasking it really is I have never done this before I don't even know how okay what if people find out that I am not dumb when they consider me an imposter okay let me explain to you now I'm not asking you to be dumb forever no but this is going to help you you see you will discover that the world will be a better place if women were created to be dumb and men created to have evil in their hearts whenever they are exposed. Please, give this a trial and you will not regret it. It's for good. Well, you are my husband, so I am willing to do anything to please you. I will. And I'm willing to do anything to please you. What did you find out today? They think I bewitched you to marry me. Her friend also believes that I am a slave in my kingdom. Now here's their plan. The plan on creating a hole on the door to peep and know how you stay with me. Or get a monitoring device to monitor how we stay together. The reason she sent her kids to her mother always is because of her man friend Omar Lindsay. See? Okay. Would you have known the mind of the people around you? If you had come here, Lucius, my husband, I'm happy to have obeyed you. You're welcome. So, for you everywhere. I wish the dumb can hear and speak. But I guess the gods know why they were created without speech. And what happened? Your wife. Your wife, Rena. She is planning with Omar Lindsay to assassinate me. What did I do? She told Omar Lindsay that if he doesn't take charge of the plot and kill me, that she will expose all his evil deeds. What did I do wrong? The only thing I did was to marry the man that I love. So what did I do? It's okay. You are going to be fine, okay? Um, my dear, just keep the good spirit, okay? Keep up with the good spirit, okay? We are getting close to explosion point. A day shall come when we teach people that the silence of a dog is not unto stupidity. Okay? Just keep this good, good spirit. But when exactly do I begin to talk? Because I am I am getting tired of this whole thing. Don't worry. One day we shall bust into tongues to stop blackmail in Ititinanza. Ah. 
Okay. I promise to not disappoint you, my I husband. I know you will not disappoint me. If not, I will go home to my parents before you return. Oh, my love, come on, don't say that, okay? I have many appointments to catch up. No, you're not going anywhere. You will not leave me in this house with Ure and Aspre. What kind of a man are you? Eh? You will put me in this dilemma and just and just leave me here alone? You want to leave me here with Urena? You want to leave me in this house with everyone throwing stones at both of us? No, 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 you won't go anywhere. My love, my love listen, listen to me. Believe me, not will happen to you, okay? Just allow me go. No, no. Look, as your wife, you are under a curfew placed by me. You will not go anywhere. You will not leave this house. The only time you can leave here is after you're here with Serena. You won't go. Trust me, not will happen to you, okay? I have to go now. No, no, no. actually playing the rehearsed dumb wife role very well. Yes, you're right. You're right. But there is a situation here. Situation? What situation? The parents will be coming to visit in the time soon. Is she, is she due for delivery? The father said that he'll be coming to convert the same party over the boat taking process. I understand. I understand. So how do I tell them that their daughter is top? My prince, 
any problem that arises must always arise when it must have taken permission from the solution. Yes. Let me tell you something. My husband, when are you going to let me loosen in my mouth? What do you want to say? You know, Urena and her kids are different now. The house is peaceful, everyone is living in harmony, and, you know, I just... I just feel like I can talk now. Awele. Awele, don't be naive. Okay? I paid your bride price. And I paid for your speech. It's not time to talk. When the time comes, you talk. But for now, I insist you don't have anything to say. My husband, why are you doing this? Hmm? Why are you tormenting me this way? Awele, if your obedience to my words have always put on the right track, then this is not the time to disobey me. Okay? When the time comes, you talk. But for now, do not say anything. You talk. If there is anything to say. The situation in my house now is so beautiful. Bruna now shows an act of marvelous. Yes, I mean, she acts as if she's walking to give death to all of us. Thanks be to the gods. And also to the Lord Almighty. If she can continue like that, then we are going to go so long. I only pray that she continue with that woman as the mother of the house, mother God in her cheeks. It will be a little bit right. But there's something. I wonder my wife believes it's time I allow her let loose now. But I don't think it's time. I don't think if she has something to say now. My prince, from your testimony about how you have been today, I think it is time you let loose her now. She is not going to be held together. I insist. I insist. I doubt if she has something to say. I mean, not now. Did you not see her like earlier before now? I did. Is there a problem? Why didn't you ask to know before now? Because I'm sure if her mission was meant for women's ears, you would have told me. She came with the bad news. She came to tell me that my household is on fire. I should do anything to fight it and to avoid it. Since her visit, I've been trying to understand the mission to enable me to stand on my feet courageously. So, what do we do now? 
Okay. Henceforth, okay. I want you to be alert. Mm -hmm. Okay? Do not let Chibo out of your sight. Put your eyes on the ground to monitor everything going on in this place. And remember, do not let yourself to be provoked to talk out there. I okay. promise. I will not disappoint you. And don't worry. The gods will definitely protect the upright. Hmm? It's okay. I want you to send for your sister, and she will back to you, okay? So I can concentrate her and contain all the sense attack when it comes. Okay, okay, so what do I tell my father when he queries your actions? Just do not worry yourself, my love, okay? Do not worry yourself. Oh, okay. First thing tomorrow morning, I will send for Namaka. Hmm? I want to go and appease the girls to save us from this shaft of evil unjustifiably aim at us I cannot fold my arms and watch the woman I married hired an assassin to murder my family no it will not happen You've heard uh, how will I speak? Is she correct? And you came to him. You've also heard her speak. Do you have anything in defense to what she has said? So, Omalize, you have finally implicated me in this your tragedy. Despite of my surrender to you, giving you my body to share. What did I commit to, to warrant this, this humiliation to my husband and the ancestors? I am innocent. I am innocent of what happened to my friend. I did not kill her. Please, people of Etitinasa, do not kill a ram because of the crime of the he goats. Shut up! Let me! Why did you... Why did you not be crying when you discovered the evil plot against our land? <laughs> I was scared to die. You know the consequences of his rot if you argue his plans. But had you done the obvious property consequences and you were bold enough, you would have saved my daughter's life. You are wicked. I couldn't do anything. Not... Not Zeribe, the, the hunter. Him with a basket of stolen yarn. He butchered and dumped his body stream. Not isn't it? Who resisted? He had verses. He loaded her with an ambush of kidnappers who raped and buried her alive. Not even a hamefula. Who wanted to shut up? This is not the reason we are here. What a world. So, Urena, you did not have a single true friendship in this world. This is so unbelievable. Friendship betrayed. It's friendship denied. Friendship without risk. 
It's friendship, not merited. Omalinze! The head does not dispatch another and leave. And the gods have found you guilty and have asked that you accompany Urena to wherever you may have kept her. As for your cohorts, let the same snake that beat Urena smash them with its venom. Azuka! It's a lie. Let the able bodied youths take them to Afia Daka, the land of skulls. There they will be stoned to death. Let this sound as a note of warning to everyone in a titinanza. The evil plants of Igwe and Ibueze also got to the gods against him whom the gods have ordained. And the gods have given the directives that he abdicates the throne, either dead or alive. Let everyone in a city answer refrain from his evil ways. Because one day, Nemesis will catch up with them all. Sparks everywhere. Something is fishy. Things are not going right because of your atrocity. Something bad is going on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Cloud is that smoke everywhere. If I if I I cannot stand this shame and humiliation that I have put myself into. <sighs> I want to join my sisters. I want to join my sisters. Something is fishy. Things are not going right because of your atrocity. Something bad is going on. Do you know he's, when I was betting him, eh? See the way he was ah. laughing. <laughs> laughing. <laughs> ah, what is it? Please, mommy. Forgive our little mother on our behalf. Please do not transfer the aggression on us. Do not punish us because of the evil things she has done to you. Please. We have no mother, except you please. 
have mercy on us so that she can rest in peace. My babies, I have always seen you both as part of me. And look, I promise, I promise to take care of you girls like my own. Please get up. You have made me a fulfilled mother of two daughters and a son. Come, stand up, please. Behold our king! Today marks a new dawn in our kingdom. My experience might be short. Task so new. I thank you all for your solid support and loyalty. With togetherness, we shall make the Titi Kingdom. Envy of all, including our neighboring communities. If I reincarnate again, I must come from a titty dancer. And you, my mother. Hmm, Maki Bea. So shall it be. Hmm, His Royal Majesty, King Onu Soleze of a titty Anasa kingdom. I am very proud of you, my son. And so shall it be. Iwe. The cloud is dark. Smokes everywhere Something is fishy Things are not going right Because of your atrocity Something bad is going on Oh, 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 oh. The cloud is dark She's a bad woman. 